Hello, everyone. I always have to wait to see because when, he doesn't, tell us, <laughs> when he doesn't tell us we're live, we're suddenly live. And when he says we are, we have to wait and see if we really are. I'll Welcome, everyone, to Keeping Candles Mysterious. Uh, we are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module. My name is Buddy, and I'm helming this adventure while our normal, friendly neighborhood DM Ryan is on hiatus with his new baby. And hanging out with Samus, apparently. Weird, random. Uh, let's okay. see. I know, right? Uh, let's see who we have with us tonight. Tonight we have Nathan playing Bertram, the half-orc paladin monk. Harry playing Redus, the human artificer, not sacrificer. Well. Uh, yet. Well, not yet. <laughs> Madeline playing Mina, the Aladrin Hexblade warlock. Rodney playing Cesar, the Human Tempest Cleric. Amy playing Riala, the Azamar Life Cleric. And Lee playing Carolus, the Yuan T Pure Blood Warlock of the Genie. How is everybody tonight? Excellent vine. Good. 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 That's better than last week when someone said Good. here. Uh, all right. So is everybody ready to get back into the adventure? Oh yes. yeah. yeah. Let's go. Hey. Awesome. Let's kill some wizards. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag wizard hate. <laughs> Can't stand him. Uh, all right. Well, since we actually aren't in the library, I was going to let you guys gather around the campfire again, but you chose to pause in a water-filled cave. So maybe we gather around the soggy britches. Um, last week, oh, no! our characters oh, no! who act as unofficial agents of Candlekeep continued on their journey to find the wizard Zikrin. They need to persuade him to release Gazre Azam, a genie, a genie that is trapped in a book that has been stored in the Candlekeep library for several years. Their reward for this will be the casting, a casting of the spell Wish, which they were talking about pre-stream, which I love. Yeah. They've, uh, they made their way south along the waters of the Sword Coast, some hungry wyverns appeared, uh, probably only to ask for directions, and the party chose to rapidly dispatch them uh, in front of what may have been their only child. They also met a handsome but quirky beach fisherman as they traveled. They located the coral spire that marks the entrance to Zikrin's secret laboratory and were immediately attacked by three ropers, uh, although Riala thinks that there was some sort of crab alarm that set it all off. Oh, really? Uh, um, the party dealt with the ropers and pushed into the cave system. They they then made a somber discovery of two half-elves who had drowned here some time ago. Cesar prayed to Calypso and asked him to take their bodies into the sea and allowed them their eternal peace. They floated the remains of the two out of the cave and onto their final journey. So you guys have just... Uh, very respectfully floated the 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 two bodies out uh out of the cave system and and out into the waters and um you're in uh, this cave this this water filled cave that you're in uh the it's the water in the middle and the dark blue part is about 10 feet deep uh the ceiling is about 10 feet high right here um a large opening to the east leads to another chamber and then back to the west the the bodies of the of the ropers where you came from um so what you want to do explore deeper into the cave to the next chamber and find out what kind of wizard makes their laboratory in a half waterlogged cave so i'm right. going to send clunk to just peek around the corner Okay. And then use one of his very complex hand signals to tell me if it's safe or not. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't know what that would be, but we'll he just find takes out. off one arm and then waves yeah. it around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on! Yeah. Um, can he just throw his arm in and try to trigger any traps? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, dude, I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. He'll take his helmet off and bowl it in. And then if there's any traps there, hopefully it'll be triggered by his rolling helmet. Can you tell me uh, just how much his metal helmet floats? Oh, no, it wouldn't, I don't think. Like, uh, yeah, possibly just sinks <laughs> like a stone. 
then then it sinks like a stone and nothing no no traps or anything go off you you hear it splash and glue 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 glue, and immediately you think ah damn okay clunk does your disembodied head see anything dangerous (laughs) i'll I'll, I'll ask his like headless body uh as it was you probably can't hear me anyway You know, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. He, uh, you made him, so who knows what kind of strange, uh, strange devices you have for communicating with him. It's sure. magic. Um, <laughs> he, uh, as his head before it hit the water and started sinking, he does say that there are two uh, crabs, two two giant crabs to him. Okay, maybe not to him. Talk, so he'd just have to do this or something. And oh, oh, the, the, that the, the, yeah, then, that there's and, crabs. And I'll think, ah, yes, crabs. That's the symbol for crabs. I'll explain to the party. <laughs> Command slash crab fingers yeah. backslash notify. Yeah. It's a good job I encoded all animals into his sign language codex. <laughs> uh, You're always thinking ahead, right? This. I had crab ambush in mind when I departed mm. Candlekeep. So, um, yeah, I'll, suspicious. I'll forewarn the party that there are uh, giant crabs around the corner, large enough to possibly pose a danger to us. Shall okay. I go take a look and maybe blast them? Uh, sure. Are you still, uh, you sounds, still flying? Yeah, I'm still I believe that you were... last 10 minutes. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Fly uh, over there. Fly there, and I've got dark vision. Uh, yeah, so then, so you, uh, how much you have 60 feet of dark vision? I have a devil's sight. I see. Is that is that good? Um, it's, I, I, it's basically feet. like therm, thermal, and um, I see through walls, and so I can see like five hundred feet. I can see anything around in all directions. So whatever you want to reveal now, just reveal. I feel like <laughs> I'm being played a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, okay, it's a hundred and twenty foot dark vision, but I see anything. <laughs> Um, magic if we magical darkness and etc etc okay yeah so you can see uh into a room there from what you, what you can kind of tell there's some some broken furniture uh pushed up in there uh and then these just these two crabs they don't seem to be standing sentry they seem just like they're crabs they're like, trying to do crab things and catch fish and uh, whatever us. crabs do of course they would seem that way. Suspicious. Can, can mm, rolling inside on the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> can, can crunk cook crab? Oh. It's a difficult one to say, yeah. Um, if, if he can boil water for tea, he should be able to boil a crab claw. Now you're thinking. Why not? Yeah. If you're peckish, Carolus, I suggest possibly toasting one. And I'll have crunk prepare it. Did I come? Oh, we'll just blast the crabs. Okay. <laughs> Stupid crabs. Mm. Fucking crabs. Crabs are second only to wizards. We have to get rid. Of, we have to kill them because <laughs> I haven't brought my cream. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Do you want me to roll? Blast them. Yes, please. Roll. Roll to hit. I'll hit the yellow one first. It was plus eleven, okay. so sixteen. That hits. And then oh, let me do the first damage first. God, dice. I need dice. Ten siders. Where are they? So that is 13 damage. Four of it is fire. Uh, it, yeah. He, uh, you know, if you had done a little more fire, you might have just, uh, just cooked that one yourself. Oh, don't worry. I've already cooked it. Um, and the next <laughs> one is a 22 to hit. 21 to hit, sorry. Uh, uh, well, 21, yes, yes. 12 damage total. None of it's fire. Uh, okay, he is... Uh, <laughs> he's still alive. I look around oh, to the God. Group, but <laughs> he's still <laughs> alive. Happy. Retreat, he's too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> it's the boss fight. Um, That's it, it, we're going back to the keep. I'll, obviously, I'll blast it again if I can uh yeah you you can and you uh you you quickly uh he only had one hit point left he, he had 13 and you hit him for 12. 
hot. So he, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined his day first. <laughs> Oh, now, I will say that so, since you're here, Careless, you can see that, that the the depth of the water uh, in this chamber, the, the dark blue, it, it is a little deeper. It's it's maybe, you know, 15 or so feet deep, um, which is deeper than it was in the in the other caverns. Is it still clear? It is. It's, it's still very clear. Uh, it, it's moves. a little bit. It, it's really dim in here. But since you have the the good the good vision, uh, you good. don't there. There, there don't seem. I mean, maybe there are some little minnows. Uh, exactly. Certainly, the crabs, the crabs were hunting for something. He sees Clunk's head at the bottom, staring back at uh, yeah. him. You know, <laughs> Clunk, who giving the thumbs up. And uh, and if you would, sir, roll me a perception. A well, perception. I have plus seven perception. Nice. Oh, natural twenty. My first crack in natural twenty. Ooh, first crack in natural twenty. So what you can see is is where uh, right over here where this area of the cave leads up into this room here. Yeah. Uh, on the edges of the walls and and kind of this lower lip, uh, there are some some deep scratches in the rock. Um, I look up as well, making sure there's nothing above us. I know we've been fighting ropers. Yeah, no. The uh, above seems clear. It's 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 all very smooth. There don't seem to be any kind of anything that's large enough that you would consider to be a roper. Uh, no no stalactites or anything like that. I'll turn around a group. I'll say it's very deep here. Um, stick to the edges, and I will. Assuming they're following, I will float across. Okay. And what are the rest of y'all gonna do? I'm following. Same. Out of the way, clunk. <laughs> and so as you guys come in as well, you'll notice that even the light blue parts, you, you've you gone from kind of waist deep water into kind of your chest armpit deep. So yeah. just this, this whole room here is just a little a little deeper than, uh, than the others. Hmm. Now, I'm an artificer, and I can use these tools to replicate any other set of like specialist tools mm -hmm. so i'm going to use that to replicate fishing tools and get clunk's head out of the water oh okay roll uh roll ro roll it to fish yeah uh, to hit uh okay Let, let's I... let's say let's say get a get a you're familiar with everywhere that you could hook on him so let's say yeah roll roll a 14 or above and you'll oh, and how you'll much does it weigh uh let's not get into that <laughs> <laughs> so can so i is, uh... don't sweat the details baby <laughs> can i assist him sure yeah so Cesar's sure. gonna Cesar's gonna like see you doing this and he's gonna pull her out out of his uh out of his belt pop it it's a pole of angling he's gonna cast a line in to help you pull this pull the planks right. out of the water there you go. so then That's... then uh you guys you guys can each roll and take the best one or one of you can roll with advantage i think we should each roll because obviously you are come equipped for this job specifically so <laughs> um i will try my best with mine but i won't expect to do better than the sea cleric with the fishing pole <laughs> what are we putting on to this uh, i got a six natural which plus my wisdom i guess which oh um do, i guess i don't know what it would be for fishing i would say I would say probably Dex because Dex, you're. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, then it's definitely not a win because they got like this eight. Uh, yeah, eight. Oh, <laughs> no. uh, well, Clunk, it's, you, you can, you can see his eyes blinking like, uh, 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 stop putting the hooks in my eyes. Uh. <laughs> we'll uh, get him on the way back. Let's go. If you could see my feet, I would be tapping them right now. <laughs> Kara yeah. says. I cast Come Mage on, Hand we'll, um... and try to, like, help push the hand up or grab it and try and drag it or whatever I can. Uh, we'll, we'll say that, that between all of you really trying for, for Clunk's head here, that, that you, you somehow managed to, uh, to, to, to get it two hours later, <laughs> three, weeks, three weeks later, uh, you guys managed to, uh, to, to get it up. Are Six these hours later. crab bodies pretty singed? Uh, oh, the wow. first one has a little bit of fire damage, but but not much. It, it was only four points. Okay. I was gonna say while they were fishing, I might just you know break off a piece of crab and 
Yeah, it, it, <laughs> it, for, it for sure is still raw. You can absolutely do that. I it mean, for sure is still yeah, raw. Some, some crab sushi. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. They while, while they're while they're kind of you know monkey monkey screwing around. You and uh, you and Mina can have some uh, some sushi. And, yeah. Uh, yes. Just looking. At I, I love it. Is that poke my head dinner? into this room while they're uh, okay waiting over there. Absolutely. Uh, oh, there you are. It's like, oh, well, get in there, dude. I did it. I did it. I, I know. Getting my polygon reveal tool. <clears throat> mm -hmm. See, that's why you get a pole of angling. You never know when someone's robot head is going to end up in deep water. Yeah. Indeed, you yeah. Know. You know, truer, truer true. words have never been spoken. <laughs> uh, to the best of them. So this this room looks like it's been it's been dug out of the surrounding stone. Uh, the floor is slick with moisture, but not flooded. Uh, this place maybe was once a bedroom. There's you know, kind of stains and marks on the floor where there once was a, a bed and a desk and a table and chairs. It, that seems to be what the splintered remains uh, of are in the in the corner. That that furniture mm -hmm. has been broken and pushed into the corner. Uh, there is what seems to be maybe a chest that's, that's what in I was the rubble. Yep. Um, there's a large wooden door to the north that is closed, and um, and just to the side of it is a a small bookcase that's mounted to the wall. What is the chest that? Oh, right. Uh, you guys would have to get closer and and do some investigating. I'm gonna head north a bit. Like read us. Yeah. They have a chest in here. Look at them. I uh, say I was fully <laughs> expecting <laughs> Redus to go for the chest, so I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go check out the books. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna uh, look at the books too. I'll join you, Bertram. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, I'm going straight for that chest. <laughs> uh, then, uh, if, do you find any with pictures? Let me know. <laughs> Let's settle the the books. Uh, if you you guys could either roll, well, each of you roll, or one of you can roll with, with advantage, an investigation check. Investigation. Uh, um, I've got a negative, and so if you've okay. got better well, than I'm that, I'm a little better you... than a negative. <laughs> yeah. So I'll say, uh, go ahead and I will say hey to Riala. Uh, look for some um, with pictures, maybe, and I will give her guidance. <laughs> or, or, or the ones with the little bits that pop up. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Guidance is D four. Yes. Yes. Fourteen. So there doesn't seem to be any kind of rhyme or reason as to how the, the there are books and scrolls or, or, or kind of rolled up paper that that are stacked in here. There doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason. But as you as you pull a few of them out and look, they mostly seem to be uh, like navigation charts and and ships logs. Um. Yes. It's a and, bunch and, of maps and stuff. None of it is organized. You know, silly wizards. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Could be a smuggler's cave, of course. Checks out. I'll uh, I'll take a couple of the maps and give them to Cesar, just because he's, you know, Mr. Oceanic. Maybe they'll <laughs> me have meaning for him. Yeah, what what I would say is you can you can look at them and see that they're all basically of different parts of the Sword Coast, but they all kind of overlap here. And if and if you look at any of these ships logs, many of them talk about uh, kind of in their final pages discuss the uh, the presence of beautiful but dangerous coral reefs and the need for for you know careful sailing and and to to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So. These books look all like they've been wet, so you don't Useless know. It's wizard crap. <laughs> so much hate. <laughs> uh, all right, who is going to go to the chest? Uh, I guess I will, and I will indulge Redis's fascination for magical items. Let me... Ready to get those right. magical items. <laughs> Unless right. you want me to, like, cast Mage Hand on it. No need. I'll handle this one. Okay. You gonna? Okay. You gonna do? Are you gonna, no, no. no really, please. No, please do actually. Are, are, are you gonna? Are you gonna, inve <laughs> <laughs> you gonna in Quite investigate scary. it first, or uh, just kind of go for it? I'll let the mage hand handle it. I think if there is a mm. trap, then it's not gonna 
it ain't gonna hurt a mage hand, is it? So yeah. true, true. I uh, just hope there's not like a forty foot poison cone. I mean, over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so you're gonna use mage hand to uh, to open it. Yeah. All um, right. The... Sorry, what? No, I was. You were gonna say something else. No. Um, that's 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 all. <laughs> oh, buddy, I'm gonna see what you say. Uh, uh, yeah, the the uh, the the your mage hand goes over and and just simple as, as anything unlatches the uh, the latches on it. It didn't seem to be locked. It was just the the latches were were kind of pushed over. Do you want to open it? Yes. You do it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's everybody yeah. step back and then <laughs> <laughs> we'll open it just in case. Okay. The best part about having real dice again is I can just roll them and make you think I'm rolling for things. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mage hand can lift ten pounds. Is that Five right? Pound. Five. Five pounds. All right. Say, roll yeah. me a d twenty, and uh, get above a fifteen. Okay. Ah. You can do it. Or 18. just throw it on. eighteen. Eighteen. No shit. Very 18. nice. Very nice. Yeah, you're. you're it, it's it's a little difficult because the the wood is a little bit swollen just from all the moisture around. But but your mage hand strains and trembles and and manages to ten to open the lid. Can't carry more okay. than ten pound. Sorry. Oh, then then it then it handily opened it, not straining at all. Perfect. That's what mage hands are for. <laughs> okay. Oh, I retrieved clunk. Okay, it's all you, Redis. Oh, right, okay. I'm going <laughs> to take a look inside the chest, just peek over the top of it. Okay. There there seem to be some some clothes, some heavy, heavy-duty looking clothes. You'll have to, to pull them out to, to get kind of a better look. Okay, uh, sure, then I will do. All right. So crazy. you you pull it all out and and kind of lay it on some of the the broken furniture and it is a set of cold weather gear. So it's a you know a heavy parka and it's some some thickly lined pants that that can go on over your existing ones and some uh, boots, mm. gloves, uh, things like that. So it, it's something that you would find in a regular kind of tack store that um, that you would use for cold weather climbing adventuring. Yeah. It's quite warm around here, though, right? And on the beach, it, it, it is. It uh, it's a little strange to have here, but interesting. Supposing this wizard's lair is in a place which is full of cold weather, perhaps that's why you kept this here. Maybe it would benefit us to take it with us. And I'll uh, I'll bundle up the cold weather in like a little one of those like blankets tied together. Okay, and I'll just have put a clunk carry it for now. Absolutely. So you can you can pop that into your inventory if you just look in D and D Beyond. I think cold weather gear or cold weather clothing, something like that. You mm -hmm. can just add add a set to your character sheet. Okie dokie. Right. All right. So, what now, friends? Uh, I'm gonna head to the. You said there was a door to the north, correct? There is. The, yeah, so it's a... It's a I'm going to give you just a second, and I'll do a little more. My polygon reveal was a little... Yeah, come on, buddy. Let's... I know, man. <laughs> do what I can with the free tools that I'm given. Draw yeah, squares so... better. <laughs> so it's... Uh, well, I can't show you the lava on the other side just yet. <gasps> oh, okay. <sighs> I kick the door open, and immediately I'm engulfed. <laughs> immediate regret <laughs> gulp uh okay so do you want to open it you want to listen at it you want to bar the door shut uh is it just a closed door it's not they look solid right they're not like broken and hanging off or anything like no that. they 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 look like they're in good repair uh they're they don't seem to be barred um it just seems like a simple handle on on this side right I'll turn over my shoulder and say, well, we uh, we feeling like a knocking kind of mood or a kicking down the door kind of mood? Okay. 
I, I, I was going to say we should probably knock, but if we're going to kick, let's let's do some kicking. I mean, I, well, are we going to try to just convince the wizard to let Gatherum go, or are we going the method of kill the wizard? Have we decided that? Because if we're going diplomacy, we might ought to knock. But if we don't care, then we can kick it down. Yeah, I, yeah, I was taken about I mean, that. I would always prefer to at least talk. I mean... We we ask we can, him first. We can always we can always go. We ask the, him first. The and killing then he, option. He, yeah. he says we, no. Escalation is always a possibility. You are yes. right. Perhaps knock first. We, yeah, we only get a chance to talk to him once. Very. That is that okay. is very true. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's uh, generally unlikely that once initiative is rolled, you get to talk. Yeah. Look at us being reasonable. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's give a knock then. Uh, okay, you give a you give a knock, and it it. Uh, I mean, uh, B Hazelwood is right. You also only get the element of surprise once. So, uh, if he's a, get... if he's any kind of oh. decent wizard, he knows we're here anyway. So, <laughs> sure. I mean, you guys did have uh, someone polymorphed as a T Rex earlier, who was probably <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it? just like that, uh, just, just like that. Like Never that. have I heard a T Rex sound like that. <laughs> But thank you. <laughs> oh, well, man. He and Paul would get along. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I think they would. I think that they're distantly probably related. Uh, okay, so, I mean, so birds here. and dinosaurs really are. So that checks out. Uh, that's absolutely true. true. Uh, so you you knock and you you hear kind of a not a thunderous uh, knock knocking echo, but but certainly you you kind of feel the gravitas of it. And on the other side, you hear a voice say, "Enter." See, that seems easy enough, everyone. It's, yeah, real easy. I pull up my shield. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound I'll nice open the door. Okay. I'll uh, be right up behind Bertram. <laughs> all right. And any other... So that when the lightning bolt goes off, you all get <laughs> any, any other door order stacking before I, uh, we get into this? Good where I am here, I think. Um. Mm. I was trying to okay. move myself. I was clicking on readers. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't move myself if there's a lightning bolt going off. I can't move myself. And I was like, oh, that's the wrong person. Uh, are you? Are you still? You're still floating. You'll let us know when you start. Um, I've got ten minutes. So whenever you think okay. ten minutes has passed, let me know. Uh, all right. The uh, you turn the handle and the the doors both swing in into the next room there are several small glowing stones hang from a 20 foot high ceiling in this large cave it's cluttered with laboratory equipment and beautiful coral sculptures rising from the floor in the center of the room is a circular stone dais obviously there's some some grooves or something in it to accommodate some sort of device though there's no device on the top of it uh instead atop the dais is a bronze scaled dragon wearing a coral crown. Oh boy. Ah, that. Hello. You, uh, oh. from the sound of things, you must have dealt with the nasty ropers out front. That is. We did. I apologize if they were friends of yours. They no, were uh, aggressive. Disgusting creatures and the, no matter how many times you kill them more seem to to always show back up uh i think mostly they live on the crab that that gather around the spire uh uh well welcome welcome to to my my humble lair what uh right there are uh, uh quite quite a few of us here do you mind if we all come in absolutely the, the dragon seems very very relaxed He's not kind of on edge. You don't see, like his breath weapon, like sparkling, ready to go off. He's yeah. he's chill. He's he's just kicking it. Uh, uh, Careless, you see on upon seeing the dragon, you think to yourself, "That's probably what made those scratches that I saw and didn't tell any of the rest of my group about." Yeah. <laughs> good teammate. Good teammate. <laughs> 
<laughs> just so you know. Oh, the uh, 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 well, what, uh, to, to what do I, do I owe a, a, a visit? Are you, are you come to kill the dragon in its lair and take the mound of gold? He says kind of chucklingly and looking around at obviously no piles of gold anywhere. Uh, well, no, we, uh, we've actually come, uh, at the behest of, uh, not a, not a friend necessarily, but, uh, but a an acquaintance we uh we're looking for a, a wizard a Zik zikrin uh mm. zikrin zephyrian do you know him i i do not know him but i i think that this used to be his place and when i found it and no one was here and no one has come to claim it i decided that it would be my place hmm Right. Do we believe uh, him? Insight checking. Name. Good question, Cass. Ask his name. Ask Wrong his character. name. Insight, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I rolled a 10, so it's 13. Uh, you know, even at a 13, he seems he seems pretty genuine. I mean, it's a, it's a dragon. They're, they're generally, uh, you know, pretty in control when they feel like they're in control. What's your name? I shout from behind, Clunk. <laughs> is Redis just like poking from behind yeah. from behind Clunk? Uh, yeah, I'm not getting anywhere. He, near this he just realizes that uh that you're there and he's like oh, oh yes. Pardon me, uh my name is Ashgarlith. Ash Post that in chat if you wouldn't mind. It is on his name tag. Oh. Ashgarlith. Okay. Can I open the genie book? Sure. See if uh, genie has anything to say about Ashgarlith. I'll say, Gazre. Are yeah. you doing this out in the open, or are you trying yeah. to kind of I'll, turn and, and hide I'll, it? Do it? I'll do it on this bench here. I'll walk over, I'll sit down, I'll open the book, just within full view of Ashgarlith, and I'll say, Gazre, there's dragon where you said there'd be a wizard. So... Do you care to explain, or do you have any knowledge of this? He, uh, as he pops out and you say there's a dragon, he looks over and he sees the dragon. And and for a moment, he's he's kind of almost mesmerized, and he just looks at him, and he's like, oh, hey. magnificent. Enough. Uh, uh, oh, right. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, if you recall, what I said was, this was the last place I knew of that he had. This is where I had been imprisoned and where I was kept in this book on a shelf, uh, that shelf right over there, actually, uh, for for I don't know how long. And then the next thing I knew, I was being taken out and and was in, ended up in Candlekeep. Uh, Who took um, you out? Do you recall? Uh, it's it's difficult with the book closed, but it, it was another party of adventurers and. Uh, I feel like I heard a, a number of roundly pointed comments about Zikrin. Uh, I mean, it, it could have actually been you, but they didn't seem to hate all wizards, just really Zikrin specifically. Right. Hmm. The uh, the drag the dragon's interest is is highly piqued that you yes. have a uh, book with a head <laughs> in it. This Ash is Gazray. Yeah. Just Go ahead, read us. I was saying, Gazray, this is Ashgarlif. Ashgarlif, this is Gazray. He's a genie. You're, um, you're a dragon, clearly. I don't know if there's any relations, or you get on, or you're mortal enemies, so... Do you have anything to say to one another, or...? Uh, how is it that you have come to be stuck in this book? It seems a little... A little common for a genie. Ah, uh, yes, the the wizard for which they searched, the Zikrin, uh, put me here. Ah, uh, yes. How long have you been here, Ash Garlic? <sighs> I assumed control of this this lair 
uh, gosh, I don't know, eight years, ten years ago, maybe. It's awesome. generally very peaceful, except for the ropers who you dispatch them, and then a, a few weeks later, more ropers have come from somewhere. I, I, I don't know where, but I. Uh, Do they ever attack you? Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, they certainly tried to, but uh, then when I would leave and then come back, uh, <laughs> they they weren't much of a match uh, no, for me. Nice. They are, after all, only ropers. That's very true. Yeah, only That's ropers. Of course. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so when you arrived, there were no signs of the previous inhabitants of the cave? No, just the the two unfortunate souls uh, out in the front who who were mummified or or, or something. I yeah, we spoke I, with them. Pickled. You spoke with them. Yeah. Uh, our Caesar here, he uh, beseeched his goddess to uh, allow us to communicate with the remains. Yes. No, no, she she. She, she's, she's the one that, that, that talked to the, to the remains. I just sent them out for the oh, this is the final rest. Suspect it's with an eight, okay, which dragons would surely know of magics that can do this. So, this... um, make a nature check. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Plus zero ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you got out. nothing. Checks it out. checks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we with clerics, we uh, get up out of from the divine, so it's it's how it's a uh, you know the divine. Uh, and the, the yes, dead and the... yes, yes. Of course, of course. Much I, I... better than those silly wizards who have to read all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and they like they catch on fire almost instantly. <laughs> uh, yes. So they can't uh, even I, wear I, heavy armor. I mean, come on. Uh, he he turns back to to Gazre. So uh, do you do you serve these these adventurers now? No, this is this is the acquaintance that I that I mentioned. Um, we're trying to help him. We we'd like to see him free if we can. But um... going to give us a um... kick, Redis. <laughs> <laughs> You unfortunately are not next to him. No, one, is, no one but Clunk is next to him. Oh no! Throw something, my loyal yeah. companion. He's all the way in the corner. Clunk kicks readers. <laughs> <laughs> a, a gift for our services. So. Ah, well, freeing someone from a from a prison certainly would would carry the the need for a gift. I would think. Uh, well, you are you are you are welcome to 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 search this room. I've I've not really. Uh, Really done anything in here? This this platform was here, and it just seems to kind of fit me just about right. So uh, uh, the 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 two things I ask are: please be careful, and uh, if there's something that that you would like, uh, rather than just take, uh, maybe you have something that we could you could trade for it. I I love beautiful things and 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 beautiful colors. It, again, you notice that he has a a, a coral crown that he's wearing and there are beautiful coral sculptures inside that are obviously from the different reefs outside um so that uh, please please invest please look around investigate with your crack and dice uh that is that is all i ask is <laughs> please be careful and uh can, and can trade we, for something if you'd like to can we have a look at the, uh, the plinth that you're sitting on what, what is it uh, uh, exactly uh, yes he uh, he will move off of it so that so that you can get up and, and have a closer look. Uh, yes, there there are these these deep grooves and and holes as if something had at one time been mounted. But since I have been here, the, the, there was there was never anything. With all the books that I had pictures in, have I read? <laughs> <laughs> anything that uh, makes them potentially fit here roll a history check <laughs> great so i'd That's... like to take a closer look too if i can uh, uh at the, or sorry, if i can why, 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 don't, why, don't, why don't you guys collaborate then i rolled an 18 ro so so uh bertram why don't you roll a history check as well and we'll take the higher of the two well 
I have an eight minus one. <laughs> so oh just go with so, whatever. So in well. your pop-up picture books, uh, <laughs> you you have seen similar sorts of things on heavily fortified castles and the such. Is it maybe maybe like a um, like a like a trebuchet mount or a a, a giant? Uh, I, I can't think of what the big Ryan. What are the the sideways? Uh, arrows called the ballista, ballista. Like, like a yeah. like a ballista mount or something. It it seems as though it, it's it, it, it's similar to to any some sort of weapon mount that you have seen. Why would that be in here? Hmm. That's weird. Aren't these usually used for like aerial things, like or outside pointing at something? You know, yeah, not far in away. The cave. And it's. It's weird that it, yeah, it's weird that it's just here in the center of the room. You, you, you hear Gazram say, uh, can, uh, can you bring me a little closer to that, Redis? Of course. I'll walk Gazram over to this thing. And he's, he studies it a bit. Uh, one of the things I told you is that the Zikrin kept asking me about using elemental magics. So uh, perhaps this is something he was working on, trying to use my knowledge of, of, of the elements to make some sort of elemental device. And, and it was mounted here until he, until he took it. He does have some cold weather clothing. I, I feel that he was experimenting with cold magics, perhaps. Uh, does anybody else want to do any more investigation in the room? Yes. Yes. All right. Why don't you guys ahead, all <laughs> all fan out and do some investigations? Perhaps there was something frozen here. It's possible. A mount for something frozen. Like do you want us all to make investigation checks? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're you're kind of all in different in different areas. So let's just let's. I'm going to read you a description and we'll see what the dice say. Um, this cave contains several tables covered with intricate machinery and crafting tools. Uh, there are some bookshelves filled with books and dioramas, and so Carolus is going to probably like those dioramas. Uh, there are some freestanding chalkboards, which uh, right next to Bertram and mm -hmm. and kind of over near Mina. That's what these are, freestanding chalkboards. Um, they probably once dis d displayed some sort of arcane formulas, though only some smudgy streaks of chalk uh, are still are still on them. They, they've been pretty well erased. So what do the investigations look like? What you guys roll? Carolus has got no idea what that word means, but when he opens it up and realizes it's pictures, he gets excited. I'm going to give my, myself 12. guidance before I start poking around. I roll Same. a nine. Nine. Um, I got a 20. Ooh, 18. Uh, I'm, all I'm doing is standing with Gajra over the thingy. <laughs> so, uh, I can, I guess, collaborate with somebody on something. On, on my lovely, on my lovely dice, I got a nine. Uh, all right. Well, so at least a couple of you find a few things. Um, so the one thing that you find, uh, we'll say, who was it that got the 20? Uh, Redis got the 20. Yes. Redis had a gonna... 20, I had a 24. Ah, then Riala, I'm about to put something in your journal. Players journals. Save. You find what seems to be uh, an old diary. Uh, and Redis, I'm going to put something in your journal. Thank you. Mm. Uh, you find a uh, a scrap of paper that uh, that seems to have a map kind of sketched on it, uh, and I will say that from the aggregately from the other rolls, uh, you definitely find diagrams showing what looks like some sort of magic cannon, uh, which kind of jives with what uh, what Gazray has said about elemental magics or something, uh, and and he concurs that 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 must be some sort of uh, elemental canon. Um, we can come back to that and study on that in a moment. Uh, but Amy, would you like to share what your book says? 
Um, I, I've, I found a diary entry. Um, I think I have a, a lead on what he might have done next. Apparently, someone named Lafa was after him, after Zikren. Lafa had the crew. They were not leaving him alone. They were pursuing him. So um, he had plans to leave, so he planned to relocate. Um, he says that he will miss being near the water, so perhaps he's no longer near the coast. Um, apparently, he was planning to remodel a giant flying fortress from which he would rain down devastation from the clouds. Pickle wizard stuff then, I suppose. Yeah, um, but he says his first thing after leaving here would be to find Lafa, um, and that someone or something named Chael would store all of his gear and let him know if things were not safe. Hmm. Well, I, believe I really I wish did. I had edited that out. I, I had put a name tag on the chest earlier, and it said, like, scribed in the top, it says Chael, but no one investigated it. Oh. Um, and so it was going to be a whole bit. Uh, but um, shh, best laid plans. <laughs> oh, I Hashtag DM's life. Got you right. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunate for you, we just care about the loot. So yeah, well, unfortunate <laughs> that I, unfortunate that I forgot that I had put it in that diary entry. Um, and so, Amy, Amy, if you're willing to share it around, I can add it to other yeah, people's journals yeah. as well. Here, look, um, um, Gazare, do you does this Lafa mean anything to you? Do you remember hearing any this name at all? Uh, I I remember that he would he would gripe and rage about someone with a similar name. Uh, he maybe was saying it more in a more derogatory fashion. Uh, but, uh, but, but I do know that he was, he was interested in cloud giants and, and Bertram talking to his wife. Uh, <laughs> He was interested in in cloud giants. I, I know that the, the the cloud peaks had a, a clan of them centuries ago, and uh, and they they had a keep, you know, in the mountains hidden somewhere. So that correlates so, with this then, and I'll point out this little map fragment that I found. Will tell an off piece of a map, which right, seems th to be then I I'm gonna put that in all the yeah. journals and. Charting. To I'll show it to everyone. That should have popped up for everybody. Yeah. Here. 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 <laughs> this is the D and D equivalent of a YouTube thumbnail from a wizard. <laughs> 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 Ten things you missed in the cloud keeps. <laughs> yeah. You found me out. <laughs> Let me write that down. That make a good blog post. <laughs> Right. We believe he's gone to the Cloud Peaks to fraternize with Cloud Giants. Was he friendly with the Cloud Giants? Uh, I, that I do not know. I know the Cloud Giants were there centuries ago, but I, I am not sure if they are still there or if they have moved on or, or exactly what happened to them. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we should. I mean, so I... do you guys do you guys want to look at the diagrams? And I, I will tell you that the the checks on the diagrams are st quite stiff. Well, so... that's what I'm here for. I'm as smart <laughs> as they come. Let me out those diagrams. I'm going to go those the name of stuff. <laughs> just uh, investigation checks on the diagrams. Uh, they're actually Arcana checks. Oof. Yes, please. Because they are, they, it's, it's obviously some sort of magical device. I think this is right up your alley, yeah. Reed. This um, magical oh, equipment. Is, is anyone else uh, Ar Arcana? Nope. I have, I have, I have good Arcana sometimes if I roll decent <laughs> enough. <laughs> uh, all right, then, then, uh, then you can you can help read us with that. So either you can both roll and we'll take the highest, or one of you can roll twice. I will. So I got, Cloud a Redis on the... got a 27. Yeah. I got a 26, and I'm not happy about it. Redis does not like when he's give not you the guidance. Did yeah, you guys... guidance. I gave you guidance. I gave Redis you, guidance. You both have guidance. So you have two people giving ah, guidance, so you oh, can both wow. roll a 1d4 <laughs> and add it to your... 
And I've got a D4, yeah. Okay. Wait, me too, or who else? Yeah, because Cesar did it and and Carolus did it. Okay. I got a three. <laughs> just on adds one, so twenty-two. Ah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yes. So what? So what's the highest? <laughs> the highest number then? I got twenty. You got twenty-eight. I got one less than you. So that gives me twenty-seven. I got a thirty. Yep. There it is. Cr- uh, crushed it, dude. <laughs> um. DC was I, I will yeah. I will say that that you you can put together enough information that if you were to find this cannon, you would be able to operate it. Um, you know that the cannon can be either operated manually or via a command word, but in in all the searching, especially with a thirty, you see nothing kind of like written in the margins or in any of the specific details that would hint toward the command word but you know that if you if you see that thing and can get to it you know that you can fire it in a better life this zikram would have made a fine artificer he's uh making an elemental cannon as we know and from these instructions i think i could possibly fire it myself operate it even when you say that when you say i could fire it myself you hear a laughing oh boy back at the doorway oh well he just popped out of nowhere ah. so this is interesting new friends gazray my old friend are are you just out for a stroll uh <laughs> Goodness gracious, six hearty adventurers and a dragon just to fight little old me? I, I truly, truly, I'm honored. He says we were fighting you. We don't, don't say anything about fighting. fighting. Well, you've broken into my, my secret lair and, uh, just think- rifled through all of my stuff, tore uh, my bedroom no. to shit. <gasps> Your that was, that was like that when we got here. Uh, the dragon's already living here, and he's the finest keeper, so that's... I mean, he's been here for... I mean, he said eight years. We knocked. We were invited in. We did no breaking. He looks behind him at the at all the broken furniture. Kind of looks like he did some breaking. See, uh, look how old we that just furniture got here. is and how long it's been broken yeah. now uh, some mending it will fix that right up now, don't worry about that you just uh, let me get over there with the mending it'll be mended up <laughs> in no time why don't you just go ahead and stay where you are friend let's not uh let's not make this any any uh any worse than it has to be i uh i tell you what i you uh leave me my good friend gazray there just put him back on the shelf Can and I uh turn and i back. will let I will let all of you, uh, I'll let you, I will let you do that in just momentarily. And, and I will let all of you walk out of here free and clear. Never have to worry about things again. What is, I mean, are you coming, are you moving back? Is that what you're saying? Are you I mean, saying I, that I had moved out? I, well, I, I, hadn't you? I mean, for at least the past eight years, You've been elsewhere. Sure sounds like a his word versus my word. Oh, I believe the dragon. What is Ashgarleth doing right now? How is I are you looking? he 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 is he's kind of trying to puzzle out exactly what's happening, but he at the the point of being insinuated that he's a liar, he definitely yes. bristles at that. He, he hasn't said anything, but you can tell by his reaction, he's not fucking having it. Good. Well, they're Are distracting you... him with, like, talking. Can I turn my back, close the Gazray book, and switch it out for the fake Gazray book? Yes, roll a sleight of hand with advantage. I know it's not it's not your strong, but there's a lot of things in motion here. So yeah, exactly. Okay, with advantage, seventeen or a thirteen, so seventeen. Yeah, for sure. Like you, <laughs> you, uh, you give a you give a wink to Gazrin, and 
you slam his book shut at the same time you're pulling the other one out and slot the book in on the bookshelf and uh, other than the slam when everyone kind of looked over to see you putting the book on the shelf no one has seen you swap them yeah. read us what do you i mean i did read us we, we get fake can... book out for the real one that's true i mean i'm did you say that out loud <laughs> i said it, oh my it, within i stage whispered it to bertram <laughs> oh my goodness bertram i'm switching the real one out for the fake one. Jesus! what he can't hear me i mean Read i'm it. just returning your book zikram to its rightful place so we no longer need to be in hostilities anymore why did we even <laughs> i should have just cast silence on him very very well i uh i thank you for returning my my greatest of friends and uh and now i would uh like to clean things up and and have a rest if you that don't mind depends if the dragon wants to leave how or do not you... yes how do you feel about this ash Garlis? i feel like i don't like being called a liar I wouldn't either. You have not been here, little man. I have been here for at least eight years. And Zikrin just has the, just a saccharine sweet, like the fakest of kind of surprise, like, oh, I, I would never call you. Just kind of that smarmy look to him. He He's, he's eating this up and definitely he's being antagonistic. How long do we let this go on? I'm ready to throw initiative. Oh, I've got a shield out. <laughs> Zikrin, this can't this can't go on. We need you. We need you to let Gazre go. I would never release my favorite genie. Who would never? I talk to Did while I never? worked? Yeah, what, he's my what, favorite. What purpose does he serve? Uh, it's really maybe not your concern, friend. He's, uh, he's mine. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, not, for, like the past, not for the past few... You have a, a very odd perception of, of what belongs to you, my friend. Uh, well, no, you, it be you... he belongs to me. He just has not been here. That goddamn Laffa and his brood stole him from me. Just, just now in the you, same way that you moved out of a house that someone else has now moved into and still claim ownership of, kind of like that. Someone, someone else acquired your book. Yes. Well, I have the papers on it. Uh, are are you leaving, or is this about to get uh, hmm, heated? Um, um together, like. He, does he, I mean, maybe really think we broke this furniture and think that he's just moved out and talking about talking to this genie? I want to ask Zikrin, what year is it, Zikrin? Doesn't matter what year it is. You're in my home. You've taken my possessions. I feel like he's I've asked you three times nicely to leave. What it's type of creature home. is this, Zikrin? Uh, he is a water genasi. Yes. So right. well, if it, it certainly makes blessed. sense that, that, you know, he would have a, a lab kind of on the water like this being a, a water genasi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sure is a lot of measuring going on. You guys gonna, you gonna pull or are you ready to roll initiative? Um, I'm, I'm ready to throw a <laughs> so, spell at this uh, fucker. He's always gonna turn to Ashgareth, Ashgareth and, uh, and say, um, uh, Sorry, well, uh, um, now this won't be pleasant, but I might need your help a, a little bit. Do you, do you, are you going to trust us? He, and he looks at you and, and just like with, with a gleaming eye goes. <laughs> All right, real sorry. I'm going to pull up my trident and point it at him and cast Dominate Beast. Point it at as, the dragon? As, yeah, yeah. As soon as I see him casting a spell, a I'm gonna throw a spell too. I that look. I have 
<laughs> Let's resolve this dominate beast first. Tell me, uh, link I don't it for know me. if that will work. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know either because he's we're, not we're, a beast. Uh, it's a dragon. Dragon can different he's thing. A, he's a dragon can. He's not yeah, a beast. Yeah, dragon. Oh, not beast. I thought it was. A, I thought it was a straight up dragon. Okay. Cool, well, right. yeah, he, is, he is, is a but, a dra- but a dragon isn't a beast. Oh, then I. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Okay. All right, then then, then we'll say that that you didn't uh, point I didn't your do that. Yeah. point your gun at him. <laughs> Uh, reality, <laughs> so seeing Cesar draw his trident, are you gonna... I'm gonna, well, I'll follow it up and I'm just gonna hit, um, uh, 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 Zikran then. Alright, th- I will let you and Riala both fire simultaneously at him and then we will roll for initiative. I was gonna cast Hold Person, so that's a wisdom save. Okay. Stand by. My DC 16. Can we all roll something? Uh, not just yet. This is a, a wisdom save, DC 16. Uh, he has rolled a 15. Oh. <laughs> he is held. Cesar, what is your shot? Uh, call lightning. <laughs> call lightning, the 60 foot radius spell. Call lightning indoors. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's targeted in, though. It's only like a ten foot. In the water, I I love this. <laughs> How tall are the ceilings in here? Don't worry. We're about all it. about to be in a Wait, cloud. <laughs> Twenty feet. Yeah. It's, I I'm gonna roll with it. What are all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it. Call lightning and uh, and then roll that roll that attack or tell me what is it a, is that a save? That's a save. Yeah. What kind of save? Uh, deck save automatically fails because he's paralyzed from whole person. Roll the damage. Um, and I want to put it, let, can you give me a, a um... Uh, do the damage and while we're doing initiative order, I'll get the, the, uh, the spell effects up and stuff. Cool, cool. I'm gonna roll initiative then. Two. Oh boy, that was bad. Oh man, he's still, he's still counting oh. dice out. This is not, <laughs> this is gonna, this is gonna be bad. Hey. I'm missing. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, I forgot to. I'm missing a stack of twelves. Mm-hmm. You're a tempest spirit, right, then? Yeah. Do you not fancy using your super weapon tempest cleric move? I think call lightning is my super fancy. T- <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can make it a lot stronger. If you oh. Want. I- Oh yeah, yeah. Um, oh. I can. <laughs> so, well, so what's this initial damage? You've committed to this move to start with. Right. Yeah. So what's so this, this initial uh, damage? Thirteen. Uh, thirty-three. You hit him for thirty-three smoking hot lightnings, and uh, let's go uh, through the, my shenanigans. Okay. <laughs> um <laughs> uh with wrath of the nope not that one um he's gone yeah i don't want to start with a burst your bubble man man yeah. but that guy is poofed <laughs> 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 he is uh gone with the wind Oh, um, you, uh, you, I'll, you I'll killed him, the, Caesar. It's good. Destructive <laughs> wrath. <laughs> so it's max it out. Well, there's no red X. Yeah. Um. So destructive wrath. That's gonna bump that up to uh, sixty. I'm gonna break the bad news to you, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this Zikron, I'll say in character as um, I'll say, I imagine Caesar's like channeling up this storm to zap down and. Zikram's gone, and I'll re- move over to Caesar. I'll put a hand on his shoulder and I'll say, I- "I'm afraid it's just an illusion, my friend." Oh, and well. and when you say that, Esh Garleth will shake his head and say, "God damn wizards!" Yes, yes. <laughs> you have made a dragon into a wizard hater. Congratulations, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Killed it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. See you guys next week. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, well, that was easy. I mean, how large? How large is this dragon? So, uh, he uh, he's a large creature. Uh, yeah. If you want to roll a nature check, 
I'm just like definitely not large enough to carry all of us. Absolutely not. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, 15 on nature, but yeah, he. We'll say with a 15, you can kind of eke out. He is probably a young bronze dragon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's absolutely not uh, not strong enough to carry all of you up into the mountains. Um, I'll ask him if he wants to be my I would yes. like to use my uh, what's it called? Divine thing? Channel divinity. That's the mm -hmm. word I'm looking for. Channel divinity. Uh, my emissary of peace to grant myself plus five on persuasion checks okay. for the next like ten minutes. Um, and I want to just turn to Ashgarleth and say, like, Ashgarleth, I I fear that this Zikrin could uh, could seek to to reclaim this place and 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 therefore you'd be in danger um, if you would stay if you could aid us in in any way I I think it would be beneficial to you as well I I have a few gifts I could offer you as well they're they're not much but you seem to like colorful things right I have it, this. It, it, he shakes his head I have this it's a wand. It's called a wand of pyrotechnics. It will make nice, colorful fireworks for you. All right, Bertram, roll your persuasion with advantage because Riala just totes gave you, with advantage with your plus five. Yeah. Uh, she totes like gave you a, a leg up on that. <laughs> I rolled a three to four. No! <laughs> it's only a total of 11. Can I use flash of genius or do I have to say that before the roll? Is that a reaction? It says uh, when you see a creature make, yeah, when you can use your reaction to add plus five to a roll. Yeah, if it's a reaction, you can you can okay. add to it. And I'll say to Ashgala, just backing up what Riala and Bertram have said, plus this Zikram, he's probably got some really nice things. He's got a magical cannon for one that we know. Who knows what else he's hiding in that cloud keep fortress? Uh, mm. Brings that roll up to like a 16. And, and what would my opposition to that be? Oh, however, what, whatever his DC is to, <laughs> yeah. re, however much he wants to come with us, basically. That's an insight, because oh. I don't know he has anything good. <laughs> like, maybe. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's definitely kind of ensorcelled by, by the wand that she has and, and the potential of it. Um, what uh, what kind of help are you are you are you asking for? That I I, I do not have the strength in me to to carry all of you. Uh, uh, I can tell you that south of here there that there is a camp where where people make climbs up the mountain. Uh, is I don't is that helpful to you at all? That would be a, a a great start, and I don't want to impose on you or anything or 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 put you in any unnecessary risk. Um, but if you'd even be willing to, if it's a flying fortress, perhaps if you'd be willing to to fly and help us scout things out a little bit. Um, Flight in the mountains is very difficult. The The nature of the cold and the strength of the winds is uh, even for a dragon. We we, we typically, uh, except for the, the oldest of us who are incredibly strong, don't... Uh, don't mess around too much in the in the peaks themselves. And if any of you are flyers and careless, he he kind of for sure looks past you, having seen that you were floating at the beginning of this when you guys came in. I would I would strongly caution against using flight if you plan on going into the mountains. The wind can can bring you all the way back down to the bottom in a in a very uncertain manner. Yeah. Well, as I said, any any help that you believe you could aid, I think in the long run also does benefit yourself. Um, but of course, that is up to you, and we'd happily be willing to share with you anything that we found or or anything like that. 
I'm mostly interested in natural beauty and the occasional, he looks back at that wand, the occasional arcane uh, beauty as well. Uh, 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 please ask, ask of me if there, if there's something that you need. Uh, I, 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 I do not, uh, I, I do not track people down and, and, and dispatch them. Uh, it is, that's just not, not the way of my kind. Do you know any larger dragons? <laughs> uh, I, I do, but they're all good mom. aligned. They're all good aligned and are, are, are find it tough to hunt down people. What about the bad people? Yeah, slaver, you, I mean. I mean, he says he owned the Gatherin. That is not good. That is true. Uh, the, the the DM thinks you're trying to get a dragon as a pet, and no matter how good your <laughs> roles are, just as a party are, NPC, you know, just as a companion, just for a little while. I just want I'll a say, few fly by. We have text. a T-Rex. That's all we need. <laughs> yeah. Garlith doesn't feel comfortable. Just buzz the tower once or twice. <laughs> a pacifist monk trying to convince a pacifist dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill him. Just scare yeah. him a lot. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he does have an elemental cannon. You're talking about putting him in the line of fire as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, it's fine. True. I'll cast Mage Armor on him. It's mm. fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but the shelters uh, sound interesting. That is helpful, Ashgala. That can take us up the mountains. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, we are not ungrateful for any assistance you provide. They, they, are, they are maybe a half a day's walk uh, from here. Uh, right. Um, do we need to rest or should we head out immediately? I think we should rest outside. And I have a good reason for that. And it starts with this, Ashgaleth. I want to trade with you. Mm. He's intrigued now. I want uh, you please. that fancy coral crown that you're wearing. Oh, this, this is one of my favorite pieces. The you would have to provide something quite unique. Luckily, I have it right here, and I will step over to Clunk. What I offer isn't any. Oh man, I thought you were gonna trade Clunk for the crown. Oh, did I? <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Done. Okay, well, let me finish. <laughs> what I offer is no bauble. What I offer is companionship. For you see. I will leave this magical golem here with you so that you can muse over your findings with him and have a friend in these lonely lair of yours. He is state of the art. He's programmed to understand emotions and react, respond to them and even offer in his own input. He makes and great tea. He makes cups of tea like you've never tried before, Ashkarnif. It's, it's arguable, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen a magical wonder such as this before? Not one such as that, no. But uh, but I, I I am I am intrigued. Uh, you you almost have me. Is maybe something? Uh, this is my favorite piece. Is there something maybe to sweeten the pot a little? On the pirate and, and, ethics, and, and he and, and he kind of <laughs> and he kind of like. Slides uh -huh. over to uh, to Riala a little bit. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, you can have the wand, of course. Okay, so you're offering to trade the wand of pyrotechnics and clunk four for the dragon's crown. That's, yes, that's probably. I just love the question point. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he uh, he reaches up and he takes the crown off and and he looks at it. And he sighs, and and he has like kind of a moment with the crown, and then he <laughs> and then he places it on the dais. It's, on the uh, dais, on the dais, on the dais. Fairly, <laughs> fairly matched deal. Indeed. I I accept. I shall remove this wand from my inventory. Goodbye. He's gonna make us tea now. And now you guys have a crown made of coral that is sized to fit the head of a large dragon, young bronze dragon. Great. And it's useless. 
Just wait till the wizards at Candlekeep see this. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're gonna laugh at you. So, which two of you are going to carry it? Oh, um, bloody hell! Do I have, have a reduce spell by chance? I, I do. <laughs> for an, really for an hour. I do. And what's the duration? An hour? It's like ten minutes, but enough for me to <laughs> you know to get it out of here. <laughs> I will. I, I say I don't even know if that would fit in the bag of holding. If I cast reduce on it, um, and large reduce. What if you cast reduce on it and then put it in the bag of holding? So then it like pops back to size when it's in the bag. Oh. What happens then? I that, think that would. Yeah, let's do that and wait up. and wait ten minutes and find out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll cast in large reduce. I will reduce it down and it will. Luckily, it. the coral is not sharp enough to destroy ships, so I'm sure your bag of holding will be. Fine. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on my head. Why is it going in the bag of holding? Can I? Is it reduced to a size enough that I can wear it? I want to see where you're going with this. So yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is it reduces it reduces one cool it reduces <laughs> one one, one category size, size yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So it would go from large to medium. So absolutely, you you shrink it down and and you're the you're the you're the bell of the ball now. <laughs> yeah, look at me. I'm a dragon. <laughs> I'll say to um, he will. Uh, Ashgarth will actually this. kind of, kind of chuckle at that. <laughs> it doesn't make me uh, a dragon. You look so handsome, Redis. Thank you. It's a new coral crown. It will be all the rage in Waterdeep. Yes. Uh, For about ten minutes. Are you going to just cast that spell on it all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay. In about, right. In about nine and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps we need to go. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, well, thank you, friends, for for stopping by. If uh, if you if you ever need uh, anything again, or just want to come by and trade or chat, uh, my my door is always open. Just kill the ropers out front, and <laughs> and, then, and then he he kind of deep belly chuckles, which in this room sounds like pretty 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 loud, pretty kind of, pretty cool. Well, we Punk, I'll miss we, you. Thank you for your hospitality, <laughs> and we uh, we. Pardon our intrusion, and uh, we. Uh, I mean, uh, we consider, consider you a friend Club. of Can we consider you a friend of Candlekeep. So, um, if ah, we ever well, need anything, I'm sure we'll be back. Thank you. I, it, it is it is no intrusion at all. Right. Shh. Well, Ashgarth, keep in mind he's very stoic. He may not respond immediately to your questions, but he is definitely active. Don't worry. <laughs> Do we need to grab the um, the copy of the book? Well, that's a good idea. Probably someone else better take it. I'm not the best at deception. <laughs> I'll grab it. Well, no, I mean you <laughs> didn't you didn't you didn't trade it into there. He knows that it wasn't there before, so so you can you you can just pull it. It's it's not a big deal. Yeah. And initiative. No, I'm kidding. gonna give Clunk uh, a hug before we leave. Aww. And and he will in in all of his clunky ways of goodness hug you back. His clunky goodness. <laughs> I will go over to Clunk. I will open his chest. I'll take the tea set and I'll just walk off. <laughs> Does it is? say Clunk number four on on him anywhere? It says four, four on his forehead. Yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. Was that was that not come with the things that were in it when you sold it? <laughs> uh, it doesn't come I don't... fully furnished. As, I, is, I don't, Scarlet, as is, I don't drink tea anyway. Oh, um, mm. I'm going to cast Mending on Clunk's knees before we walk out. Oh. Mm, okay. You're all very yeah. sentimental over this bucket of bolts. We're sentimental <laughs> over each of them. <laughs> all right. Well, let's. I, would, uh... I want someone to do a comic strip now of like Clunk one through three and their horrible ends, <laughs> and just how sad you've all been. And Redis is just so like, I just build another one, whatever. <laughs> Not so what are you all doing? What are you all saying goodbye? He doesn't understand what you're saying. <laughs> no, no. But we will... do. <laughs> we know. Uh, all right. So are you guys gonna gonna make your way out and head south? Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. All righty. So, you uh, you travel clunkless now. Do we manage to stop um, for rest? Oh, yeah, so a, do you guys want to rest? And now? what happens when the crown suddenly springs back to begin <laughs> on Marita's um, head? I'm going to let you know in about nine minutes. Okay. Uh, 
if we can so do, you, out... do you guys do you, do you want to rest before you head south to the uh yes. where he said that the camp was or do you want to to push I on to the camp say rest before it's integral that that happens as part of my plan yeah let's let's so. just exit and get back up top to like the it was like a little cliff to get down the coast right it, it, it was, but but he that is back to the north. So is there any reason why we don't just rest in this outside room, right outside of? There is Ashgarlet's room. There is. Have a plan the, right there. Okay, I will he, tell you. <laughs> he has hoodwinked this dragon, and you guys don't know it yet. I don't know what he has done, but he has hoodwinked this I'm, dragon. Yes, I'm fully expecting some kind of bullcrap from Redis at this Shouldn't point. Again, <laughs> like we just told this dragon, you're our best friend, and we're gonna screw him over immediately. Oh, well, yeah. So we'll we'll say. That, so do you want to get out of the cave system? Then. Preferably as far yeah. from Escalif as I can within nine minutes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, so do you I'm want to running? If do you want to travel south toward the yeah, yeah, the outfitters? Okay, yeah. So then, then that's we'll that. say that that you guys can get down there, and and much like before, the um, it's I mean it's wet. There's there's not much kind of sand. The the water is kind of very close to the rock. Mm -hmm. um, let's say that now you are eight and a half minutes away so you you've got a minute a little over a minute let's say before you're uh uh before the crown does its thing okay at which point it becomes uncarryable and Rita still turn to the party and no say, it just takes two of you okay yeah that's a good point but or one still... really tall of you like this oh, if only <laughs> i had a golem that would let me carry it and i'll say do you not think here looks like a good place to settle down for a rest, perhaps? And, and I mean, it I does, mean, it's again, it's wet. You you can't wet. get back to dry land in the oh. time that you have. Damn it! So so just, so just like on the map that, that you guys are on, where the the water is kind of right up to mm -hmm. the the vertical edge. Um, in, in in nine minutes, you can't get north or south to dry land. All right. Well, let's, I mean, we'll just carry it. Yes. Until we okay. get to dry land. All right. So we'll say that, that within an hour, you've gotten to a spot where you can, you can actually sit down and, and have a rest and it be dry. And we'll just, you, the two of you, two or two of you are carrying. I'm assuming one of you is Rita's, even though, what's your no. strength, Rita's? It's not me. It's Caesar. Thank you, Caesar. You're so kind. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. I'll, I'll, I'll repay this for you. Cesar and Bertrand, do you need to exchange money again? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in, case, in, in case anyone hasn't caught that from last week, they have a running bet with each other about the antics of Redis. Uh, all right. So, yeah, you, you guys are at a spot where you can get a. Uh, you're just going to take a short, I'm assuming. Long uh, rest. It's oh, been it quite a day. It hasn't really been quite a day. It's, I, I mean, you guys, I you guys, you guys I'm fought okay the ropers short, for, yeah. you guys fought the ropers for, you know, about a minute. Uh, and some white woodens. And we met a pirate. That's like, really that was I, all days before. I will <laughs> say that I could really stand to do some praying. I have done a lot of spell casting and it might be nice to just sit down and, you know, Riala's right. We all need to just take it easy oh. and get some rest. Who's got to cook the crap now? I mean, it's like noon, guys. <laughs> it really I is. I mean, do you I'm want me to be able to heal you when you die, Bertie? <laughs> uh, it's up to you. I mean, I've got healing. Yeah, I mean, like to your past selves who have I mean, died. Healing, healing, <laughs> or... no, it's, 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 the, it's the little, like, tingly touch I do, you know? Yeah, but, you know, oh. is it the Bring back to life. <laughs> healing. That sounds mildly inappropriate. The tingly touch you do during your own long rest is your own business. <laughs> we don't need to hear about your tingly touches. You know what? It, inside of Carolus's lamp, you all know about the tingly touches. Oh. <laughs> Things like that can't be wow. can't be hidden in a in a room. But... Um, all right. I so so you guys want to take a long rest at noon? So. We don't have to. I mean, we can keep going. It's fine. No, no, Riali, you need to relax. 
If I don't hit nothing else me. for the rest of the day, I can heal you. We that's that's well, you know. I'll, I mean, I'll I'm take... not completely tapped out. I'd say it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Here we go. You're looking quite yeah. tired, Riara. I do think we need a long rest. Oh, yes. so, you, oh so you guys okay, decide. Okay, read this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm very based tired. Based on based on what the the dragon told you, it's probably three more hours until you're at the camp, the kind of the base camp area. Oh, uh, is that all then? Uh, yeah, half a day. Is there something okay. going on between you two again? No, I, I just need to focus for about six or seven hours on something, and can't do it while we're only stopping for half an hour at a time. God but, damn it, you're going to have a dragon Karen on your rolls tail while you're chair. chasing. <laughs> it's cops. Uh, Doesn't realize that something's going on. It shouldn't okay. matter, actually. So long as Clunk can stay active for long enough, it should be fine. We'll be fine. What, we'll what, be what, fine. what are you talking Famous about? Famous last words. You, what is but, going you on? Gave what have away. you gave Clunk away. Of course Read he's this. active. Out with it, Read this. Clunk only stays active if he's within range of you, you know, well yes i'm his magical source so uh i just wanted to you know screw over a dragon, dragon so that we'd have another enemy to deal with the readers do we have to go back no i told him clunk was stoic and he may not look like he's listening but he certainly is if the dragon is as patient as he seemed then it may be only a year before he realizes that clunk's not listening at all Wait, so will oh. Clunk's, like, body stay there? Yes, he's no more than the suit of armor now. Redis, you really should just give the crown back. It's a coral crown being worn by a dragon. Imagine how jealous the wizard's going to be at Candlekeep. Who's... Yeah, they're going to be jealous don't like you. when we're all dead. They because don't the like you to begin with. They're not going to be jealous. It's the only reason why I wonder is they don't like me. Now I can say, well, at least I have a dragon's crown. Oh, and we told reason. him where we're from. Yes, now we may pose a problem in the future. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I don't want my wish. I love all of you, but Redis is my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> my, my wish is going to be that the crown go back to the dragon. <laughs> so we could sleep you get easy from the crown besides just Doesn't showing off to the wizards who are stupid the most, anyway. most extravagant form of buyer's remorse ever, Carol, is to march myself back in there and offer the crown back for my golem. Mm -hmm. uh, I... No, not offer. Apologize. And admit your deceit. Hmm? I don't do that as a rule, so... <laughs> <laughs> Read this. Read this. <laughs> I'm not going to... It's it's right. just in a suit of armor, you people realize. It's not going to thank you for rescuing it from a dragon's lair. We're not rest. We don't care about your stupid golem. <gasps> I sent Bertram. some of you a direct message in Zoom. I, Bertram, you forget yourself. I know you care more, very much about my golems, so... I care much more about keeping our new dragon acquaintance happy as kind as he was i think imagine this. his wrath would be terrifying think of this readers how many people do you know that have a bronze dragon as a friend while this is all going on you you've noticed that cesar has has left the local area where you are and and has marched out into kind of like waist deep water and is kind of futzing around in the water Oh, let's stop focus. What's Caesar doing over there? And uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what, what's the he... crown you want? Perhaps we could get you on. Let's just. We should go and see what Caesar's doing. I think. Yes. Yes. Leave the crown here for now. We'll go and see what Caesar is up to. It looks like it's something important. Is the crown here? It's Did you leave the, the crown? Ground. I can't carry it, so <laughs> it's like it's just there. I need to have a long rest to build Clunk again, so he can bloody carry the thing for me. <laughs> but, um, uh, um, unspeaking, Sailor will stand up from the water, turn around, and just like discus throw <laughs> this thing from the water at um, Redis. Whoa! What make a de make a deck save. Uh, okay, um, it's plus three for me, so I got a three. No, sorry, four. <laughs> <laughs> it's plus yeah. three for me. I got a three. <laughs> oh, wow. A zero <laughs> on my D20. Yeah. Uh, one plus three is four, guys. That's a... So just like right in your bread basket 
it, it, it's a beautiful uh a beautiful just now hand carved still wet coral crown that would fit you uh but you're ah. not sure how he put so much spin on it that that it has knocked the wind out of you <laughs> you took it right in the bread basket <laughs> right uh, it knocks on my back and i'll just i'll stand up i'll be getting my crossbow and just in a reactionary way not that in any hostile way but then i'll look down at the crown and i'll be like <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you um thank you i see it's it's very kind of you and, and we um, all saw how you got that crown from the dragon. It's a we did. Lo- yep, lovely, personally handmade by a dragon crown. Yep, specifically I, fitted to you. A dragon. <laughs> right. And when so, we get back to Candlekeep, you will say that I got this crown from 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 a dragon. Our brand yes. new best a bronze friend, dragon. This, this dragon. Yep. Yeah. Using will my and not I, hate us. Using my adept powers of conversation. And persuasion. Yes. 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 Your impressive yes. powers of persuasion. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I fooled the dragon into forfeiting his most prized <laughs> you did. Mm-hmm. He was really persuaded. Yes. He persuaded. We will we'll go with. We can. We can land on persuade. Okay. We'll meet in the middle and say I persuaded a giant ancient dragon. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, adult. Adult. Dragon. Adult. An adult dragon. Very yep, well. Bronze. Bronze dragon. Who, Mm-hmm. Uh, red, red dragon. No, 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 bronze. We're good. Bronze. Because if, if you say red, they're going to want to go and hunt it. True. Okay. A bronze dragon, an adult bronze dragon to forfeit. And this is true, his most prized possession. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 We can. Yep. Which is where where is that, by the way? I look around. Is it gone? <laughs> It's, I guess What's it's that? Same, the, big, the big, the the big one. Big oh, one. It, it it cannot be missed. It is <laughs> giantly sitting, just like the the pinkest of elephants in a room, uh, <laughs> right where right where you guys dropped it when you started to see what Cesar was doing in the water. Raidus, would you like some help returning this one? I just thought maybe you could carry it back for me, and I'll, I'll carry it. Let's I go. I will help. <laughs> you are going. I'll help. I'll stay here and prepare. No, agree this. You will not. Okay, I'll go and apologize to the dragon. Thank you. Thank you, Reedus. And in the interest of <laughs> keeping my sanity, <laughs> you go back, explain everything, then the the rest of the group corrects you. And the the <laughs> dragon is is he is not angry. He's he's very bemused and very thankful that you have brought back his favorite his favorite treasure. And, and, and you can he keep will, the wand. Are, are you sure? Absolutely. I, I I I dislike taking something that I that I haven't given something for. Is there something else in here that that you no, would be interested no. in? Consider the trade your friendship. I uh, I like that. Uh, you have, you have proven yourself to be, and he looks right at Redis and then at the rest of you, upstanding uh, individuals. I, I I appreciate appreciate that kind of that kind of thinking. I swear you're very welcome, Ashgara. <laughs> does Come clunk re- does clunk reactivate when when you get near him? As, yeah. as since you were, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clunk kind of looked. Clunk kind of looks sheepishly at Eshgarleth, who, who chuckles at Clunk. Uh, What's this day? <laughs> he's he's not he, he's not mad at you, Rita's, but he's not like in lo- in love with you like he's liking everybody else. So it's pretty much the stat- same as usual for Clunk, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's pretty that's pretty much. That's, I, I meant the dragon, but uh, ah, right. <laughs> like the dragon, the dragon's totally cool to everybody else. He's a little bit tolerating you at the moment. Um, but the dragon bows at Clunk as I do want as... to be wearing my coral crown while I'm talking to him. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so he knows that I've got one too. You know, mm-hmm. he yeah. he is he is quite uh, quite quite shamed by your equalness. Mm. I cast enlarge <laughs> myself to make him make me his size as well. Oh my god! <laughs> I won't do that. Don't worry. So if I do ever cast polymorph on Redus as a tyrannosaurus rex can he still have the uh the large <laughs> crown 
the crown. crown. The crown oh yeah, crown. yeah. That's oh my god. <laughs> hashtag that's canon now. Oh my um, god. I would be the most fabulous T Rex on the Sword Coast. Yeah. So this, you are just the most fabulous everything on the Sword Coast. Let's be honest. Well, I am now. Thanks to yeah. uh, Scissor. Thank you. No, no, not thanks to me. Thanks to the dragon. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Ashkalis. <laughs> I just clap Rita's on the back kind of hard. <laughs> so, so now that you've traveled an hour south and then yeah, an hour back, hour back north, <laughs> it's about four hours or so to get to where Ash Garland says this, uh, this camp is. Would you like to head that way? Yes. yes yeah. Please. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot oh, my, my picture book back at the dragon's cave. So we have to go back. <laughs> uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna move you guys to that new map, uh, and please don't freak out because it is gridded. It is the map from earlier that I used. It does not mean that we're about to have an encounter. Um, I don't believe you. Because mm. what it means is we're going to take a 10-minute break. Yeah. Huzzah! And huzzah! And so when we come back from our 10-minute <laughs> break, when we come back, <laughs> we're going to talk to Chad at this camp. <laughs> what is this token? Uh... Uh, does his name not show? Oh, yeah, I, I, I'll have to. I will re reveal his name once you learn it. It looks like uh, some. It looks like some jock you got off like yeah. eye stock or yeah. something. It, you know, <laughs> it, it, had, on. it actually Aww. is from this module, but from a way earlier one. I, I was just looking at the icons, like, oh, well, use him. Can we enlarge right. it? Can we enlarge the it? most uh, chiseled jaw? Yeah, is that <laughs> is that sh uh, shift shift Z? Is that right? Uh, oh, I think he can just click him and drag him up. There you go. Chad. Oh, gosh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> He's Hi. so guest on, like, to me. Yeah. That's just what I see. Welcome yeah. to the base camp, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. That'll be fun to make the edit cut on. Uh, so <laughs> we're back from uh, back from our break. And now I think it is time. You guys have uh, have made your way down coast a little further to where your new friend uh, Ash Garleth said that there is a, a a camp of some kind where people will mount uh, ascents up into the the mountains of the Cloud Peaks, and sure enough, you uh, you come upon a scene here, and there's a, a a guy with a wagon that is is kind of set up like a a, a storefront, and. Um, you can see that there there are several tents uh, set about. I'll point out to the rest of them. Look at that man! Isn't he strikingly handsome? <laughs> you can kind of hear him humming. No. And it, what a what a delightfully fair use melody that is, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. What what would you like to do? You're just gonna stand there and no, let's walk in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just let's gonna go. stand here awkwardly. All of us stand and stare at him. Yeah, just stand and minute him seconds. for for hours. Oh, Where does my hit points go? Chad, the chisel chin of the sword. Uh, yeah, check your hit points. The, these are the recycle tokens from the bandit fight. Oh, so okay. Oh, okay. Your, your hit points that would maybe, explain it. Maybe down. So adjust them to where they need to be. Some of you are more up than others. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll walk up. Did you say you're gonna put a fireball on uh, on the the storefront here? No, I said it's perfect it, where we are. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> he said it's perfect for a fireball. I was like, yeah, we yeah. are. Yep. We are setting it off. <laughs> At the uh, a nice fair use snippet there as well. <laughs> at, at the at the hearing of you coming behind him, uh, this guy turns around, gi a giant uh, kind of smile on his face. Hey guys, what's up? Hello, sir. How are you? Definitely. I, I'm I'm doing. <laughs> 
doing real good, man. How are you? Come on in. My name is Mick, and uh, and, and and this is kind of my place. This it's the base camp to ascend. The you cloud you look like a Mick. You're you're well well named, sir. <laughs> yeah, Shaka a- bra. Thanks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Say Shaka, you just do it. Yeah, Shaka. <laughs> Twitch Come chat on. can't see, but Careless is rolling fireball damage. <laughs> <laughs> do you know proof for Akuma chat? <laughs> Oh yeah, the Fisher guy. Yeah, he doesn't come down here a lot, but oh, that guy got some good rum. Yeah, I feel Woo! like you two would get along. Yeah, you're right. Do I, re- do I recognize Shakabra as any language I know? <laughs> um, <laughs> you, you, not Bissell or anything, is it? Hold on, no, wait. I, I, I need to take out initial, the helm of comprehend languages for this. Your guy. initial <laughs> gut, your initial gut feeling is, God, I kind of hate this guy. Like, uh, oh man, he's what, a bit of a dumb thing, Bravo. <laughs> what uh, what 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 brings you by here? You uh, you looking to climb the mountains into the clouds? Unfortunately, I uh, that would be Something why like we're that. here. Yep. And, and and he'll look around like, doesn't look like you have quite enough gear. You uh, you guys do you need to buy some stuff, or you think you're just gonna just gonna go at it like that? Because. I, I got I got things, and he kind of motions toward the the cart. Should I mean, I I'm sure we we'll... with the clothing, so and I'll put the clothing cold with the clothing that I got out of the chest earlier today. You're gonna go ahead and put your cold weather gear on. I mean, it's still warm down here. I'll wait then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you can show it to him. The proof that he's got. What it's yeah, like. yeah. I'm you, you, can, you for sure can show it to him. I, I, I just opened a uh, or added a uh, handout into your journal. Uh, the, this is the uh, the Featherlight Outfitters, and uh, he will. Uh, hmm. He'll just show don't you kind of. Give this guy any of my gold. What his wares are. He uh, he, lo- he looks at the set that you're holding, Rita's. Oh, good choice, man. The X13s. That's that's a good set of gear, bro. Thank you, um, Shaka, bro. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, Shaka. What was his What was his deck save, by the way? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mick. What is this? Uh, this interesting necklace over here. What's this? Oh yeah, featherlight necklace. So. I mean, you guys look pretty capable, but if you feel you feel a little kind of sketchy about your uh, about your skills and abilities, uh, this necklace has feather fall, uh, just built right in. You just you fall in, you just grab it back, and you're like, you just grab it, you say, "Oh no," or you can say like, "Oh shit, I'm falling," or you can say like, "Shaka bra," <laughs> and uh, and it'll cast feather fall on you, and uh, you just you just float right down and not tumble to, to 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 your untimely death. Can I insight that? Because sure, if that's not true. The people who've fallen for that will never complain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so both, of those, for that. both of those can be true. It yeah, could yeah, be a perfect sales it. pitch, but also be true. But yeah, you can absolutely insight him. Okay, so I'm not going to great insight. It's just a flat 20. Um, well, uh, a four. This guy's legit. I want uh, that necklace. Yeah, <laughs> he, 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 you, you're like, Shaka. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting into this Shaka stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like that would be a, an excellent... Uh, he's only got the one, right? Uh, hang on a minute. He kind of digs through the box. I've got five. And he looks at all of you five. and he counts you. And then he well, does it again. I mean, and then, he, and then he like uses his hand. Somebody's gonna have to be a better climber because I only got this many. Uh, that's okay. I have five. I'm, I have five. I'm hands really on. Good. <laughs> oh, hi, Shaka. Uh, uh, I'm really good at falling down. Hates this guy so, so much. Fucking hate. I already. can't tell if this is careless hate or or jade hate. Oh, this is definitely a jade hate. <laughs> Which... I just want to kill him and take all his stuff. <laughs> it's going over. I can't help it. It's going over to this character and every character I play. <laughs> uh, 
okay. Well, Mick, I'm really good at falling down, and so I I mean I should be pretty pretty okay without one, but I'm gonna encourage and, and, the rest he, of my he, friends to grab you, one. And he and he kind of like looks past you up at the mountain and then kind of looks back at you. I mean, it, it is, it's a pretty tall mountain, but... Oh, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy one if he had enough, but of, of everybody, I can survive a fall easier than... It. That's true. That, that, that's fair. That, that's I can fair. fly. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, but can you fly while you're already falling? Do you, is, yes. that a, is that at will? Yes. Okay. And it I, then you're will... fine. Give me the necklace. <laughs> <laughs> I will purchase one of your necklaces, my good sir. One of All your right. favorite necklaces. So, uh, you get? Do you guys need any other gear as well? Because we got some stuffs. Uh, so, how how many necklaces first? We gonna we, we taking we taking all five? Baker's dozen, bruh. Um, <laughs> sorry. Can't us know it's not, uh, not Is there worth anyone it. else in this camp? <laughs> uh, so, uh, if, if if you if you look if you look down down at the water, there there is another guy who's who's like you know kind of unloading some crates off a boat. Does he have but, a tribal tattoo or anything else that would insinuate that he would talk uh, like this guy as well? Actually, he's a little too far away to see. It's okay. for you to see his sick ass tribal armband. <laughs> Are we downwind? Uh, it doesn't smell like Dracar Noir. <laughs> you know, I will say that there definitely is is an uh, an herbal aroma in the, general, in the general area. Okay, that's all right. <laughs> So, you can just imagine the times that he and, uh, and <laughs> Peter Proofrock have had sharing rum and other herbals together. It's a cross between patchouli and weed. <laughs> Heavier on the latter than on the former. Uh, I mean, it's not illegal in Faerun, so. Whether or not you can fly, you're all going to need warm clothing. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some cold weather gear, climbers kit. I'll just uh, take tent. the bundle. I'll get the bundle, like the bundle and the necklace. So, I've got most of that stuff though. Yeah, I've got most of the stuff, so I'm just gonna and do I'll the cold the weather gear and the climbers kit. What's yeah. in the ultimate climbers bundle? Uh, it's one one of each of the above, like it says on the menu there. So it's cold oh, weather oh, gear. Yeah. It's good stuff, man. Keeps you nice and warm. Didn't have climbers pictures. kit. All sorts of shit in there. Uh, 50 foot of hemp and rope, got to tie things up and climb climb up and down. A pack of 100 pitons and a hammer to set them with. Uh, that's a good value on that. Uh, 10 pack of rations and a two person tent. Ultimate climbers bundle, 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 bundle. Oh my God. Oh, We're standing shaka, right here. <laughs> well, well, that's the ultimate climbers bundle is more expensive than just purchasing each item separately, though. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a master uh, of the salesman myself, but it's the taxes from from <laughs> from Waterdeep leaking down here. Uh, right. Okay. Nice, <laughs> nice, so, nice, so nice catch. <laughs> nice, so nice so catch so on that. <laughs> nice catch on that, Redis. Uh, <laughs> studying the to see. <laughs> Usually offered a discount, but all right. Uh, <laughs> Carolus wouldn't even notice because there's no pictures. <laughs> Riala doesn't care. She just wants to give the guy 75 gold to shut him up. Exactly. Give me the bundle. Take Let's it. Go. Take it. All right. So it, yeah. So you guys buy buy what you like from it. Just adjust your gold totals. We had 1500, and, uh, didn't we? Uh, yes. Initially, yeah. Yep. 1500 each initially to buy things with. I think. I you spent most of mine on a spyglass, so. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, I think God. I think Carolus had like fourteen hundred and ninety left. Um, I, I bought two healing potions, so, and I've got. But uh, but yeah, so just, just adjust your gold and add the items. They should. <laughs> those are all. The featherlight necklace is. I need to add that to D and DB. I don't think I have done that yet. Uh, is that so just a permanent. No, it's in there. Oh, is it? Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did do it. I'm sorry. Is that like a once use or? Oh yeah, it is a one time use. Is it a now he, as a salesman, should be responsible for telling us that because I will say I could fall that, twice. And I will say that. that there are things that he knows and things that he doesn't know. It's so if you want, understand. if you want more info on that, you'll have to buy one and and spend some time with it. 
Hmm. As though you were doing an identify. Sure, yeah. We need to drop readers off the cliff and test it out. Clunk would be a better option, but yes. <laughs> Ooh, so that's a good that's a good thought though. Is what happens to Clunk if uh, if Clunk fails his he dies? Just, probably. <laughs> he just does a long rest. Yeah. Oh man, back. <laughs> he's yeah. so cold blooded. I love it. At least I've got blood, um, and I'll hit, hit this robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh no uh, cold weather gear I want that uh, hey, so you guys are welcome to stay we got the tents right here uh, you stay get a get get, get a rest we'll probably get some chow on later I have it on good authority there might be a drum circle going on woohoo let's and, set up as soon as possible uh, this is uh, a personal attack Riala you do tag. have Riala you've got silence prepared right um <laughs> Said, yeah. Yes. Obviously, yeah, absolutely. Yes. Er, yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah. Car Carolus <laughs> is up, obviously chomping at the bit here. Like he's he's umming and ah and whether to cast fireball. <clears throat> but oh, he does don't, he don't does do use his once a day thing for a suggestion. So wisdom DC Suge seventeen. Oh, it's okay. So what's what's the suggestion? To shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Shaka bra. <laughs> uh. DC 17 wisdom save. Please foul. And he, and he looks right at you. And he's like, you know what? I can tell you guys are tired. You wanna you wanna get a little sleep? <laughs> did he, did he I'm say gonna he... go. I'm I'm on, I'm gonna go down and see if Valen needs any help unloading stuff. Feel free to use the tents if you want. And he will actually uh, will actually move move did off. He, did he <laughs> did he pass? <laughs> 14. <laughs> <laughs> I said, shut the uh, fuck up, not go away. But yeah, that's good. Cool. <laughs> it was very nice of him. As, and so now you are, uh, you, you can see him walking down. He's like, Baylor, what's up, man? Woohoo! <laughs> uh, he's headed down and it's going to help unload. Uh... Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I could stay as little time as possible in this camp, so... Can the campus I'm the man who just, just tried to, to convince Riala that she was looking peaked and needed to have a long rest. <laughs> oh, she's fine. His brilliant deception. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Riala's fine. I'm sure she's okay to carry on, right, Riala? Oh, yes. I mean, quite. Uh, I, honestly, though, if we camp, I'll just cast silence over us and we won't have to hear any of this nonsense. Well, we could always hide in Shock the. Uh, bra. Hide in <laughs> my, uh, my bottle. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can oh, we pretend they're wizards? Perhaps I should... Wait, can I cast silence on their drums before we go into oh, the... Please, the, please, the, please. The drums please, may You'd be have good. to wait. You'd have to... Well, that's true. They could be good. Uh, you'd have to wait until they brought the drum circle out to do it and then skedaddle into the lamp. I'm no, okay I with love, that. I love the idea of, like, just Riala's finger sticking out the, the mouth of the lamp, like... It's silence. <laughs> We're trying to sleep in here. Are we clown carding? Clown carding one of these tents? Is my question. Uh, no, the the uh, all the all the tents. You, you can see that the like the, the fronts and backs are pulled up just so they can you know kind of like not be musty or anything. But they are they are all empty. Uh, oh. And he said he said you guys can can use the tents if you like, or you can use uh, Careless's uh, no, genie I've bottle. Got perfect here. So how big are these tents, two man? Uh, yeah, please, they, please yeah, they are. Man. They're the two men. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we all start piling into this two man, and then we just disappear <laughs> yeah. inside this two man. So they probably see us all go inside a two man. That once they come back, that is going to be brilliant. Yes. Man, they left their lamp. I guess they're going to come back for it, bro. Better, better make sure we take care of it. And, and I leave a note next uh, to the lamp, touches the lamp, long. and I really will cast fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so you guys gonna gonna long rest then? Mm. In the, yep. uh, any other than uh, hit point and hit dice and spell recovery? Any any other things you guys need to to talk about or? Do we know yet what we'll wish for when um, I know what is I'm gonna wish released. for. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I think we don't it's one all get one wish. Each. I think. I believe it's a share wish. It's a group wish. 
Bertram, what wish is it? I'm desperate to know. Uh, we all we all know what my r wish is, Rita's. We. Oh, no, it's got to be world peace. Yeah, well, so you're, not, you're, you're right. Uh, you're right. Yep, mm -hmm. peace is definitely involved. It's a key factor. Mm -hmm. Yep. Of course, who could expect less from you, Bertram? Yep. Look, I still think nothing to worry about. Rita's literacy <laughs> should be up at the top of the list. You still think what should be up there? Wizard illiteracy. <laughs> Why don't we turn all the candle keep books into goblin? Therefore, all the wizards have to learn goblin. Yes. To oh, them. we could make them all picture books. Yes, I like that too. You would Plus. never get careless out if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you run the candle with keep with color, then. with color. Yes, and pop ups. Pop -ups. Hmm. Perfect. Hmm. Right. Oh, but but for real though, I don't. What are we really wishing for? I don't know. No. Well, uh, here's a question. Uh, what do we do if um, the man is going to free free our genie from a bottle here, you know? If we got to... I believe if we kill him, then it the uh, enchantment fizzles out. Yeah, wasn't yes. that the two options? Negotiate or death? Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, you can, either, you can either talk him into doing it, or you can kill him, forcing him into doing it. After meeting him, I say kill him. Yeah, no. I second. Are we going to at least a attempt to talk him, talk him out, or are we just gonna? That last, you no, know, he was like, "I own Gazram. He is mine. I'm not giving him up." Like, yeah. No. Mm -mm. It changes cool. tune when we're ahead of him, right ahead of him. Maybe he'll beg for mercy. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, wizards don't do that. No. Next time we see him, we should find a way to make sure it's the real uh, Zikrin rather than another. Illusion. I mean, we could just we could just throw something at him. Is, I think. Yes. Did, would you read us or or Mina? Since you both have Arcana, would either of you like to roll to try to kind of maybe th suss out maybe what you think happened? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm curious. I got a twenty-five. Uh. Yeah. I got a 24. Ah, so once again, I, both, I, I proved myself a master of the arcana. I bet both, she's like, she's about to explain what it's about, and I just put in, like, actually, what happens this? <laughs> yeah. Yes, please mansplain. <laughs> yeah. Redis is a mansplainer. <laughs> it's in his character, so... Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that, that pretty much is on brand. Uh, <laughs> both of you, Never mind. <laughs> at the same time, realize that he must have been using project image um which you know it, it it creates an illusory copy of himself um you know it has a very large range on it um the illusion looks and sounds like you but it's intangible uh if it takes damage it disappears and the spell ends so you can uh, you can see and, and and hear through the eyes as if you were in the space as well so he for sure knows what you all look like. And is it an interplanet range, or is it just a long range? If I no, it, I it's it's it is it is it is within the plane that you're on, but it is uh, you know that there, there's a mileage range to it. What'd you get? A twenty twenty-five, I think. You you seem to recall that it is a higher level spell, and you think that the range is about five hundred miles. If I was to equate that ability of casting to say a number between one and nine what <laughs> what other spells would i imagine he'd be able to be capable of uh, you would for sure think that it would not be out of the realm of possibility for him to have things like teleport okay. um you would uh power word pain uh oh prismatic spray okay right okay prismatic spray um, um Delay I'm... blast fireball, probably in the seventh ish level range. Twenty five is a good roll. I'm giving you more than I normally would, but twenty five, and then sure. the backup twenty four, is uh, you guys really kind of nailed it. So, how did he know that we were there? Mm. Yeah, that's what I want. Well, so to that know. will take a little more sussing out. Probably, but... probably the answer. 
Wizard well, you know, you know, alarm, alarm itself is a is a short range, but you know it that was they're... the damn crabs. <laughs> it was not. Maybe it was not the damn crabs. <laughs> Car- 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 uh, the crabs. It was totally the crabs. The, does anybody crab. remember doing any kind of investigation or detect magic uh, in the bedroom at all? No, but nope. I imagine opening the chest may have may have warned Pretty him girl. about something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the chest. The it actually it, it actually wasn't opening the chest. I will tell you what it was: is when you took the materials out of the chest. I see. You mm. triggered you triggered a glyph. That. Nice. Uh, mm-hmm. Hmm. I told you there. There's no surprising. There's no surprising a wizard. A good any any wizard. I know we hate them. We hate wizards, but we really could do with recruiting one. You know. Yeah, but <laughs> we don't need them. Bite we your tongue. What do we do? Oh what, what do we do? We, we I'm sorry, I just <laughs> I just looked over in chat and realized we have to disable chat. Uh, Astral Hellbender says GTA style: kill the merchant and get the money back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would love that, but I don't condone that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you, for oh, sure, yeah. for sure, he knows what you look like. Most likely, he knows that you're coming. Right. Well, Riala, if you've got that silence prepared, it could certainly stop a teleport out. I suppose. Well, he can't that get I in can here do. anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Could Do any among that. us have the uh, capability of counterspelling? Yes. It's not something in my repertoire. I do. Good. But you know, you I can't have... use it often. Hmm. What about non-detection, Carolus? No. That's... Unfortunate. <laughs> Such a... I'm afraid Why would my I need that? <laughs> limited yeah. spells are not going to be too much use against <laughs> a wizard. Right. Between silence and counterspell, I think we have, you know, a, a good chance of at least stopping some of what he's going to try to do. He mm. could very easily counter my counter, <clears throat> by countering the counter. This is true. Hmm. Right. Well, but then but... you could counter his counter of your counter. Like you guys can keep doing that till you run out of spell slots. Yeah, mm-hmm. it just has to be either a high enough level or a high oh, enough roll. Mind you, my count is fifth level. <laughs> mind you, I have cast seventh. So, yeah, yep. I have a, I have a seventh level magic missile, but that's all I got. Damn, Jesus, girl, how'd you get that? how you doing? <laughs> yeah. Level one. yeah. Is that is that part of your of your of uh, hexblade? I think so. I just, yeah. Wow, that is uh, that is no joke. Uh, all right. So you haven't decided about your wish. You think you figured out how Zikrin found you and uh, and taunted you and uh, made you show your numbers. Hmm. Right. Well, let's get some good rest before we. Uh... Ascend the mountain. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be quite tough. I'm not a good hiker. Oh, I'm sure it'll go fine. I'm just trying to think who's the what, best person what to could carry po- this. What uh... could possibly go wrong? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have your feather fall necklace. It's fine. It's true. You can get Clunk <clears throat> just to carry you if you want. And yeah, so, so I guess that's the question is who are the five that are wearing the feather light necklaces? Or maybe it's... the... The easiest thing is who is not wearing a feather light necklace. I think it was just Carolus, right? Yeah. Carolus. Did and everyone Clunk? else buy one then? I didn't buy one. I didn't buy one either. Oh. Oh. It's cast Featherfall, right? Featherfall is like as many targets as you can see, so it seems silly to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of them. That's a good point. Do, yes. do we remember that? I the... think you can cast Featherfall and not like up to like five targets or something. Yeah, you can, yeah. So as as one of us got Featherfall, we'd know this anyway, but well, I do now because I've got the necklace. So. Yeah, but I'm assuming that's a one use, one person use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and it the 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 necklace does specifically say feather fall is cast upon the wearer. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Uh, it, yeah. it only imparts a spell on you. Hmm. Yeah. It's up to see. Uh, let, let me make sure that you're 
because I know that I was going to add that. Let me make sure that's mine and not someone else's. Oh, no, for the light necklace. I, I, it is mine. I so guess I did do it right. With that knowledge, um, was any, would anyone like else like to buy one? And that is completely solo use. I'll think about it. I can't wait till you all die from falling. <laughs> Unless I've the used all of my flying things nice. in a day. Mm. How long can you fly, Careless? I've never four, counted. Uh, four times up to ten minutes each time. Okay. Yes. If we finish our long rest, I'd like to ask a question which I'm sure the party is going to hate. But... Oh, this, like is my, this is my favorite I'm already. I'm sure you're going to ask yeah. it anyway. No, we're not bringing yeah. it up with <laughs> I, feel like I, have, I feel like I have to. Mm -hmm. I'll go over to um, Featherlight, Mr. Featherlight. Oh, well, so uh, the, one more thing before we finish the long rest, yeah, sure. is that yeah. of, the, of the three of you, three of you that have them, uh, I bought one. Should... I just went ahead and bought one. Okay. Uh, so of the four of you that have them, certainly after an hour, which is what it would take to identify something that uh, that you were unknown and, and and close about, it seems like there's more to it than uh, than than just a kind of single use necklace of uh a feather fall um i will allow any of you to roll an arcana to know a little bit more about it. any of the four of you that have them i offer Ooh, guidance this should be good here we go guidance to the Ooh. one that does it hey <laughs> well i got an 11 so <laughs> uh with my minus one i still got a 17. with guidance all right, so then, uh, yeah, take your guidance, Bert. How about 19 total? So it seems to you, after spending some time with this and really looking it over and kind of getting in tune with it, that this isn't simply a one-time use necklace, that this is actually a spell gem. And you would know that a spell gem of, of this particular type uh, you can store first level spells in. So, okay. any spell, so, any first level spell. It's worth us all buying them then. If we, we yeah. should definitely be buying the five. Because I, I can't cool. cast anything into them, but like our, our clerics can. Like healing, absolutely. Word, for example. And it can it can only hold one at a time, so you'd have to you know use the feather fall that's in it to cast something else in it. Yeah. But yeah, I will buy one as well then. Okay, so that that then I think is all five of them. So what are they called, sorry? Uh, it, in D and D B, it's oh. featherlight necklace. Cool, featherlight necklace. Uh, all right, so you guys are done with all of your. The things you want to do and you're long rested up so everyone complete your long rest uh it's the 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 drum circle uh it, it actually was going okay you could you could hear it through the the walls of things so you, no, you didn't get too 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 pissy about it they they actually had a pretty good jam going so yeah but they're all on one and three <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong you're not wrong it's like uh, <laughs> Occupy Water Deep out here. <laughs> deep um, circles in these guys. Um, so next morning, you guys pop out. Yeah, I want to ask Mister Featherlight a question. Uh, so you pop out and you don't actually see Mick, uh, but there is uh, a a new. I don't think I have his thing showing. A new person. Yeah, I do. In fact. Yeah, standing there, uh, and he says, uh, "Oh, uh, good morning. I, uh, I, I, I had heard there were people here, but then uh, I didn't see you. So I thought maybe you had you had gone on up, or uh, or, or or had had left. But I'm I'm happy to see you. Would would you care for some breakfast? And you can see that he has just kind of some breakfast uh, going, some coffee, some tea, some uh, some nibbles." He does not smell of deep, deep dope like uh, like Mick did. Yeah, that would be uh, that would be lovely. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. And he he offers, he shows you where it is, offers it to you. Making uh, making making an ascent today. Then are you? Of a sort, yeah. 
But you, are, you're not waiting for a guided tour because that that's going to be a few days. because all of our guides are out. You, you're just going to go it, just going to go it alone. Yeah, we're just going to wing it. Okay. Do you have, do you have a, a destination in mind? Yeah. I mean the the top. You know that we're going to go that direction. Just oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, so if, if, if the uh, well, uh, there are several tops, uh, you know that's that's why I ask. But yeah, I mean, it's like if if you're going to be on on our trails, then our trails are are pretty clearly marked. Uh, shouldn't it shouldn't be shouldn't be too too bad. Um, we're looking uh, for what is giants. what? Do you know any cloud giants nearby? Ooh, or just uh, well, I, that would work. I I no, I I certainly don't know any. They um, I believe they've been gone from here for for centuries. There are certainly legends of them uh, in the mountains that so our, our routes don't uh, don't don't go that that's kind of getting into some more advanced climbing uh, headed that way but um, but but yes yeah, certainly they're they're legends of, of cloud giants but uh, you get up in the air and the exhaustion sets in and the thin air and people think they see all sorts of things uh, you know you know how it is floating and then, castles that you heard and then talk about and then castles. and then sometimes you're partner and he looks and Mick is down like talking to the guy at the boat again like still he's doing more talking than unloading your partner sometimes sees just lots of things not even in the thin air but mm -hmm. you know it's it's a business what what do you mean what is he what is he seeing well you know he uh he likes to let's say partake uh Sometimes the old fisherman from from up north comes down, and the two of them get on a get on a, 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 a tear with some some drinking and some smoking, and see all sorts of things that uh, none of the rest of us can see. What's the what's just humor me? What's the far out most outrageous thing he's ever seen? Ah, uh, he uh, there, there are a number of shipwrecks out in the. Uh, out on the water where the ships run aground of the coral reefs and uh, several different times he's talked about a, a gleaming dragon flying up out of the water with things in its mouth and uh it, it's you just stay stay off stay off dope kids uh, stay in school nonsense <laughs> uh but yeah so if if you want to head toward the where the cloud giant legends are that's that's advanced. I mean, you have some gear, but I would say it, follow our trail to the at the end of the first day, and then uh, it, instead of oh gosh, let's let's see. And he 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 thinks for a minute. And he pulls out a, uh, a a map that you know he's not hiding it. It's a map of kind of where their their trails and uh, and and their routes are. Uh, I give him my map that I have, or my shred of map. Uh, yeah, you, so when he pulls this out, you can, you can show him that, and he'll say, oh, ooh, yeah, the, um, the, That's gotta find my, go. gotta find my place here. Uh, the, so our, our guided tours and, and where all of our, our marked out paths after the first day, they, they cut more to the west, and, and you're headed more to the east, so I would for sure say at the end of the first day, head toward the the east away from our trails but be be very careful the the climb is the climb is arduous even for seasoned climbers understood uh anything else we can get you no way seems all good to me yeah excellent okay. he'll ha he'll hand you back uh uh hand you back your your map fragment and he'll and he'll fold his up Meanwhile, Agluck, thank you very much for the 500 bits. That's a D20 inspiration. If we... Ooh. Has anyone got a D20 inspiration currently? I no. Have no? An, no. I have a, do I have a hero point or something? You've got a, you've got a D6 that has to be used D6. tonight. Yeah. So remember that. Um, so if we all roll one D20, do you want to do it Kraken or do you want to do it anything? Let's do it Kraken. Dragon. We're having we're having a good time with that. Let's do it. So I rolled a uh, tray. I got a tray. All tray of them. Fourteen. Oh, nice. Seventeen. Nine. I got a four. So 
18. 18. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, nice. Luck. Much appreciated. Thanks, Thank so, you. Madeline, that's, that's a D20 inspiration you can mark on your D&D Beyond sheet. Okay. In the little where it says inspiration, you just hit that and it'll fill it up. Yep. And that is yours to keep until you use. Remember that you must Ooh. declare it when, so yeah, you don't have to use that one tonight. Remember I do that. declare. Okay. You must declare it to use it. Say, this is an important role. I need to make it. I'm going to use my inspiration. Yeah. Okay. For those that are watching, we are sponsored by Kraken Dice. We're doing a giveaway, exclamation mark giveaway. Please feel free mm. to enter. Kraken Dice. Uh, yeah. D -D -D. So yeah, let's continue. Let's all righty. Trail. So uh, Valen will, uh, will bid you all good day. And you guys can head up the old dusty trail. Let's go. Um, and here we go. In the cold so, of the clothing, right? Uh, have we got dressed in the cold yes. of the clothing? Is it necessary? Yeah, you you can. I mean, you you can see that for the for the first couple of hours, it's going to be kind of like it is now. But so you can change. You can add the clothing now, or you can add it later. You're not going directly into the deep freeze. Okay. Um, but but if, if you wait, then probably halfway through, like when you stop for a bite of lunch, you'll uh, you'll want to get into your cold weather gear and and um sure and stuff uh yeah but you, you just like you said the the trail is at least for day one the trail is marked out um quite well uh lots of uh, lots of kind of big flags and you know even some places where they already have some pitons installed but you can't imagine anyone using a piton at kind of this slow rake grade it's like it's like a bunny slope kind of uh mm -hmm kind of thing and uh yes yeah, so you guys you guys get up the first day you don't see anyone else uh you know a few animals but it's starting to thin out because you're starting to get close to the edge of the tree line are we near to where we were told to branch off going east uh at, at the at the end of kind of your first day so right. you know a, eight hours of travel in you'll you'll be there um and you can see that their path there, there's there's it's not it's not a base camp there aren't tents and stuff set up but obviously it's a cleared area and you can see that theirs turns a little more westerly so do you guys want to make uh make bottle camp yeah um yeah probably not bottle camp no no okay uh, well, if it's Regular. the end of the evening then yes yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. So it's you can your travel unless you want to push and risk exhaustion. You you technically you only travel like eight hours for a day. Yeah. So if it's in the yeah, then yeah, day day one completely uneventful. You guys have uh, lots of Redis's machinations and mm -hmm. I will you know the bottle. Mm -hmm. we yeah, for for sure. So that's something. If you guys want to continue to discuss, there is no one around. So. You can do it without even getting mad at Redis. Well, you can do it without getting mad at Redis, but... I just want to know what What's we're going point? to wish for. What happens if we've got 10 seconds to decide? What are we going to say? World peace. I don't <laughs> think that's even within the capabilities of a genie. That would be a miracle. I don't know. Is it possible? Maybe if we all wish for the same thing, then it would be a miracle. You could try it, I suppose, yeah. Uh, can I open Gaz Ray? Can I open him? Absolutely. <laughs> Again. I was wondering if you were ever going to consult yeah, probably the, the best. actual expert on that. Gaz Ray. I mean, I'm hot. Ah, yeah. Ooh, it's a bit of a bit of a change. Do you have wish? No. I, I wish to know <laughs> uh, the best wishes. Ah, that's ah, that's your wish. Ah, got you. Ah, ah I guess right. Ah, just guess right, kidding. Yeah. Just right. kidding. He doesn't, he doesn't have a hand, but but you can tell that he would have made that motion. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> yes. What? Uh, okay. Please, please ask ask your questions. It is it is tremendous magic that 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 needs that needs thought before it's uh, before it's it's taken. What's what's the most powerful wish you've ever granted for an individual? Uh, unfortunately, I, I I am not someone who w wishes and tells, as uh. Brian would say. I, uh, I I will keep whatever you wish for just as secret as I keep yes. anything that anyone else has ever wished for. 
genie wisher confidentiality is very important. <laughs> and you don't I, even have to sign an NDA or anything. I wish for Ryan and Tess to rename their baby to Jax. <laughs> <laughs> Done! T Tess is all up for it. She's up for it. She's already told me she's up for that. Ryan was like, no, no way. If she's up for it, then Ryan is, he, he'll fall. He, he does not have the resilience for that. <laughs> uh, Supposing we did wish for world peace. Ah, uh, that is, that is something that would have to realign the entirety of, of all the planes across all the versions of all reality. And uh, sadly, I, I don't even know if, if all the genies that have ever existed cast all of their wish at the same time that that could be, that that could be attained. See, I told you. Fine. That a takes it off the wish. table. That's at least a little bit of pressure off, I guess. It would also put us out of a job. I'm just saying. It's true. Not Not retirement. I'm looking around while we're, <laughs> while we're talking to this genie. I'm looking around for this fucking dog. <laughs> it, you, you imagine it's something it's in the fork are you you oh, guys so, are in the the, oh, the lamp right because you can hear things outside so you can hear oh, the dog yeah. in the I forest thought it was we were traveling. <laughs> yeah. um oh uh, no you're right i guess you are still traveling you're not you're not stopping. stopping for the night dog that's a mountain goat why is it barking i know i think we are camping aren't we if we've I stopped, thought, then yeah, we'll be inside the bowl. Yeah, I, I yeah. think we do want to do a camp because um, we don't want to have exhaustion do going up a mountain. Spell bottle have like enough food and stuff like that for everyone. Um, I don't think it sustains people, but we've got rations, have we not? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just I just didn't know if it was like every time you came in, there's a nice brazier of of, of uh, <laughs> like two, yeah. two How long two have you been waiting of meat? to work that into the campaign? <laughs> <laughs> the campaign with like three hours tonight i've been working to wait <laughs> waiting to work brazier since in. i brought it up before since we amy started. brought it up before we started mm -hmm. um uh, uh yes more 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 questions if you could wish for anything ah uh, you've got to I, let me give me something me i guess to... i would wish to be about. out of this book and so oh. hope Hopefully you will be fulfilling that for me and my wish will be granted. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Yeah. I I, I know the frivolous things that, that mortals waste their their wants upon and, and, and I, I, I would not I would not saddle you with my knowledge of that. Could you now this is just a hypothetical. Could you silence somebody for the entirety of their existence? It's a great question. Could you do that? <laughs> that that uh, could absolutely be done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, what are you thinking of, Thomas or Zikram himself? Oh, oh, you 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 would have to wait and see for that one. <laughs> ah, Caesar, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> They'll look a fool, all right. <laughs> why, why, you look, why you all looking? <laughs> Don't worry oh, about it, Rita's. <laughs> If, if he power? had a hand, if he had a hand, he would be doing this to you, Rita's like. <laughs> <laughs> What's about more power? Uh, I think he's more, in the book so more, he can read the room. More power is a little broad. Could you be more specific? Like more experience in the world. Uh, yes, uh, I could... I could move you along in your timeline until you are older and 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 oh, no, 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 no. Or at, at a more experienced level. I wouldn't want to be older. I'd want to have that level now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me think on that. I, 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 that's possible, but I, I would need to think on that. Could someone wish to know all the languages in the world? Hmm. That would be a noble yes. use. I, 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 I would say that uh, that I could grant could grant one of you the ability to to always comprehend all languages. I'm just looking forward cool. to getting our one wish each. I'm excited about that. <laughs> the 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 ability to cast wish is something I have one time per year, and so I I I am offering a casting of wish. Not six castings of wish. That that would take six 
six years for me to to do. Uh, if we wish for six wishes. No, I think being from your lineage, sir, you do know that is not a thing. It's charming you think Clunk has the capacity to wish anything. <laughs> but, uh, I'm glad you're including him. What would Clunk wish for? Probably he, he's he's gonna he's gonna imagine. look at at, uh, at Cesar and Bertram, <laughs> like, what is happening? That's just how he is. He's just always, he's always like this. Oh yeah, I had a brain <laughs> <laughs> or a mouth. <laughs> Aircrow, I'm gonna miss you most of all. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you, Gazare. Not being particularly helpful, but I understand that there is things you can't tell us, so... Well, and perhaps if the questions were more leading and stimulating, I could be of more help. Yes, well, also this, and I'll shut the book. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid smarmy genie. <laughs> I thought that we were all going to get a wish. No, 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 there's no. just one, one no, casting fun. of the spell know. wish. Well, I got excited. Only gonna get one wish. I got excited for no reason then. How about uh, it's, still, ex it's still exciting though? I mean, Let's you're being wish. offered offered a casting as a group. You're being offered a casting of wish, which is that's powerful, powerful magic. For an animal, you want to. Um, you know what? I don't. I wish. don't hate that. I don't hate that. What yeah. if we wished for a perfect clunk? What if Plunk we wish 9, for just a, a, yeah. a metric butt ton of money? I'll just narrow I mean, my that eyes. That would be the, the fairest and easiest thing to wish for, but so boring. Yeah, just in a way, so also. Was, if Clunk was perfect, then he would be like a perfect extra party member, you know? For you know, our future adventures. It's um, Everyone roll an Arcana check. No, I'm going to read this. I got a... Hey, that's not oh, terrible. I did roll a 17. Mm. That's a 10. Yeah. Got a 17 as well. I rolled a 19 20. for a total of 18. <laughs> 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 Just wait till we climb the mountain. Your strengths will come. Got a, got a big old 14. I, uh, Z reminded us we're not doing it for the money. We're doing it for a shit ton of money. <laughs> um, so... Uh, most of you realize that that, that that wish carries with it some some specific limitations. Um, yeah. Uh, oftentimes, wish is used to, to duplicate a spell effect, um, but it, but it doesn't need to be like that. So, you know that you can you can create an object uh, that doesn't go over a certain value. Um, you can allow a group of creatures to regain all of their hit points and, and basically have greater resto cast on them. Uh, you know, kind of battlefield type, type usage of it. Um, you can grant creatures resistance uh, of a damage type that you choose. Um, uh, you can you can kind of undo single events uh, like, like, oh shit, we you know, Bertram failed his save and was instantly killed by the by the MacGuffin. I wish that he had made that save. Um, and so it, it's less about reshaping the entirety of the world. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, so there are some limitations, you, and you guys would know that. Yeah, there there definitely is some balance to it. Um, yeah. The dream, um, you can you absolutely can still dream. Uh, and then there are things that are the DM's purview beyond that, like giving someone the ability to comprehend languages all the time. Not on here, but I could see myself doing that. Yeah. What about giving a being sentience? Ooh. Wish Clunk had a soul. <laughs> yeah. That's, that is well, a spell, Clunk, isn't it? Clunk, well, you can awaken, but it's not quite the same because yeah. they're, yeah. they're already sentient, kind of. Well, they're I, I, I will tell you that I, as, as the DM, I would, be, I would be very willing to consider that. I feel like that's a noble usage as well. Yeah. Perfect and it's AI. close enough to mimicking a spell effect <laughs> that I'm all for using our wish to enhance Clunk personally. He'll just kill readers as soon as we finish like, doing the wish. <laughs> oh, well then, yeah, in that case, let's go for it. Clunk <laughs> yeah. is gonna... much quieter. Clunk tries to create the, the perfect readers. 
<laughs> the story comes from oh. circle. I'm waiting on one of you to open the book and say, can we get the wish early if we promise we're still going to get you out? Yeah. <laughs> next so, yeah. next go around, Harry's playing Clunk instead of Freeze. Right. If I can give Clunk sentience, he pretty much a becomes Warforged? a Warforged. Yeah, yes. yeah. 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 yeah basically. So I'm, uh, yeah, it's, I, I would absolutely be, be willing to consider that. Interesting. I don't know if Reedus wants it, but I want to see it as a character. <laughs> hmm. Okay, uh, right. Good to know. Uh, okay. The uh, any any other nighttime or or other kind of day one goodies? No. Press on. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So, day two, you guys. Uh, you guys pop out of the, the bottle and you leave the well-marked trail behind and head into a much, much bleaker, um, going to have to forge your own way kind of, kind of place. And uh, it doesn't take very long, it's simply a couple of hours before you are confronted with um, some, you know, some very kind of large slabs of of rock and and starting to be very thickening ice and the visibility goes down and the snow goes up and the wind picks up and it's definitely getting colder um i need everyone to roll a survival check please this would be a group survival check in our traveling together has anyone shown themselves to be quite gifted natural 20. all right Gifted at what? Yeah, Sorry, Harry. Twenty-one. So, in all our travels together and our past adventures, has anyone shown themselves to be gifted in this survival? You know, or understanding it? Oh, because I know I wouldn't have. Not Carol. I got um, I got nine. Well, that's cocked. Thirty twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Oh, Madeline, no. Madeline. Sorry. Sorry. I said 16. I just had myself muted because I'm special. You look terrified. <laughs> I, was like, yeah, I, was like, I thought it was going like, to be way worse. I was like, is 16 okay? 16 okay, please? 16. 16's great. Yeah, so with Bertram's natural 20, that brings you up to five successes and two fails. So okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit hard going for a couple of you. You, you start to you know, lose footing in the the, the thickening yet still soft and kind of crunchy snow, but uh, you, your your compatriots managed to manage to pull you pull you out of it, um, and and you guys continue and you you will notice that the 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 further you press, the um, the harder it gets. You you feel like that for every hour you're not going as far as you used to go in an hour. Uh, that it's just it, it's becoming a little bit of a slog, but. Um, but this is this is where you've you've set. It's where you you're going. The the map fragment, unfortunately, since it's kind of such a high level thumbnail view, doesn't give you much to go on. But you feel like you're kind of headed in that in that correct uh, direction. Um. Yeah. Any any things you guys want to talk about or, or do kind of on the way? Anything I'm you want to look out for? My eye out. Do you see any straight lines or anything that might insinuate a building, even in the far distance or anything? Mm, roll. Um, what a, one of you roll with, with advantage for perception, or two people roll and we'll take the highest. Uh, I've got plus I'd seven. Prefer, I prefer to assist someone, so yeah, I'll. Um, I have. I have plus six. Plus nine. Plus nine. Well, God, nice. yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll you let do the it. Cleric do it, so, so, and I will so guide I him. Well. Let me guide you. Okay. Let me guide you. So, at advantage. And guidance? Yes, an advantage with guidance. He's a crow. Okay, this is not this is not good. No, no. Flash it, I'll flash of genius go. as well, yeah. just because it sounds like it's going to be necessary. Is that the the plus five? Yeah, Third? plus plus five. He gets so add, so add five and add your guidance. Dirty twenty. Oof, just <laughs> okay. on a four. <laughs> I rolled a one and a four. What I have rolled. <laughs> Wow. That uh, really. Wow. Damn yeah, it, I just so, wasted uh, a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I just so you rolled two 19s. <laughs> you, uh, I rolled a 19 as well. 
You don't see. Yeah. Wow, look at you guys wasting all these good rolls. But it's a, it's a dirty twenty. Like it, it, it all stacks sure. up. It's fine. It's fine. Sure, it's for totally sure. fine. You don't you don't see any kind of straight line building stuff. You you can kind of pick out that there the it's a bit of a gap, and so you feel like the direction you're headed is is kind of the way through and up further. You uh, with a dirty twenty, you do get the sense that that you're headed for, you know, th the easiest the way through natural pathing sort of thing. Yeah, cloud giants. I don't know much about cloud giants. Can I start trying to dig to the snow where it's earth and see if are we on a road by any chance or anything that would? Uh, it, go go ahead and dig down and look and give me an yeah. investigation. Um, my investigation is plus five, so I got a twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, it just, it really seems like unimproved rock. It just like the rock okay. around you that you can see. It doesn't seem like it has ever been shaped or worked. Okay. Um, and with a 22, we'll say that you, you did like kind of several different kind of pockets around to look. Um, but, but yeah, it does not seem that, that it has ever been worked before. Okay. I suppose cloud giants would just like fly to it, wouldn't they? But okay, yeah. Yeah. Let's soldier on. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, we'll get kind of closer to the end of the day. Let's do a uh, we're we're winding into another long rest, um, but we need another survival check from everyone. Another survival. Gosh, this is. I harsh. guess that's the royal we. <clears throat> uh -huh. oh, royal we. I, I got rolled 13. an eleven plus 18. Three. 14. 17. Mm, Fifteen. Thirty twenty. We don't know if that's all right. Good. I'm gonna need clunk to roll. Oh no, I thought he was getting away with it. <laughs> wow, really? Okay, right. So, clunk is the deciding factor, is he? So, oh lord. Um, clunk's got a, I think it's based off intelligence, right? Wisdom. Oh, wisdom. sorry, wisdom, 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 right? Yes, yeah, so he has a wisdom of a, a flat. I can hear a, a cat purring. So. He got a 13. Oh, sorry, oh, that's awesome. Is a 13 a success? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> so, so there's some steep you, DCs on this one. Well, you have some. Well, you're climbing a mountain, you know. Yeah. So, so you you have some setbacks, and you, you to we make what you want it. That gives you advantage. Is that true? advantage? I know. Yeah, it's not <laughs> the way he's looking. It's like... <laughs> uh, I know climbers I mean, no kit one, gives you something. Uh, no one has looked at what the climbers kit does or used it. Oh, I've, used, gear, it right? so, I've so, used it with Harrick. I've used it with Harrick. No, climbers, uh, climbers kit just includes pitons that you can't fall more than 25 feet. Um, <laughs> but, but again, none of you have used any of the stuff that you bought, so it, it's it's a little Can rough going. You use the you, cold weather gear? You, true, true. Mm -hmm. You uh, to get where you think that you want to get to by the end of the day, you you guys actually have to push a little bit, and I'm not gonna make you take a level of exhaustion, but but by the time you get to where, uh, kind of what a, a good spot you think is to camp for the night, you uh, you're right on the edge. Like like one more thing would would push you over into level one exhaustion. Roll for initiative. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I dislike this mountain travel. I dislike it very much. Yeah. Do you what guys camp in the lamp again? Yep. I I find, the we find right somewhere now, yeah. best to place it. And I use my climber's kit to use a pit on and uh, f fix it down. Anchor it. So it doesn't tumble? Yeah, anchor it, yeah. And then hide it. Okay, good idea. Good All right. Idea. So we're going to say then, I'm just going to drag. Oh, not good idea. Because I don't have a, um, I don't have a token for the lamp. So we're just going to say that clunk is where the lamp is and that, uh, that you that you hammered a couple of pitons in into the rock and and looped it through the handle and so it 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 is it is pretty Covered pretty secure. Snow. Can you cover it in snow and still go into it? Oh yeah, because you because you use it as like an action like an action spell kind of thing. Yeah yeah. So we'll, you you can fully 
fully kind of covered. And again, it's also snowing, so if you didn't, it would only take a few minutes and it would be covered in snow anyway. Um, okay, so this is your, your, your next night. You, the air is definitely kind of starting to get thin up this high. You, um, the, the climb is getting harder, uh, but you're back into the warm environment of the lamp. So you can have your next nightly chat. We can talk more about Wish. You can talk to Gazray some more. <laughs> I'll open Gazray's book and I'll say to the genie, Gazray. If he, if he had a hand, he would be doing this. <laughs> I'll say, Gazray, please tell me all about your genie society and culture. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, I'll have my, I'll have my, <laughs> got, got well, my hand already on the, on the. I've already got my hand on the book. <laughs> so. He, uh, he, he will, and it is fascinating. Well, I shut the book before he. St- <laughs> <laughs> like, as soon as he draws breath, I will shut the book. Oh, really? It's what, it's what you get for making me look a fool. Uh, he did. He didn't do that. He didn't. He didn't do that. Very well, I'll reopen. Yeah, so that's for two, I didn't, two I, book I, slams. <laughs> I just realized this guy's in control of our wish, so. Uh, you, yeah. you did you, did you just realize that, did just you? Just realized that, <laughs> cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> when you open it up and say, I'm only joking. <laughs> yeah, Gazray, my, my best bud, my incorporeal buddy. Um, just a joke, just a friendly joke. Shut up, uh, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yes, quite. You can stay open quite. all night. Should I like slide a fan just to like put the fake book in his backpack and keep the real one for myself? He, he, yeah, he actually he book. actually has both of them, so it would be. No, I have the second one. I grabbed it. Yeah, I think you took it. I have the fake. Put it down. Oh, you took it off the shelf. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I have the fake one. You know what? If you waited until he fell asleep, you could probably. <laughs> Yeah. You could probably do that. Uh, Redis is so arrogant, he doesn't think he can be tricked. So, yeah. <laughs> Please he can automatically do it. succeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> 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 I had to consult my notes there. Uh, uh-huh. uh, all right. So, do you have any more questions uh, now that you've thought more about maybe. Uh, turning clunk into a, an actual sentient uh or do you want to hold your hold your hand on that and not not discuss it we can informally off. i'm for turning clunk sentient yeah i'm happy with that me as well as long as, you know, <laughs> between now and then if, well, no there's no catastrophe and nobody dies and we need to use it on them then hmm. is the book is the book open while you're discussing this mm-hmm. the there is another another potential thing that we could do. Uh, it is possible that I could I could turn something into a say a summon for me that you could uh, that you could wait. I could cast it right right then uh, before you leave or I could I could allow you to summon me at any point within say a year. Uh, that will prevent me from from using the magic, um, uh, you know, for uh, until until you you use it. But again, to get out of this prison, that would be that would be worthwhile to me. So consider that you you may not have to use it immediately. So like an IOU. Yeah, like just bank it. Yes, sure. Yes, but you would you would at any point summon me, and uh, then tell me what your what your wish request would be, and I would fulfill it immediately. Well, that is definitely an option. Not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did I mean for? Get you out of this book first, and then... Yeah, one step at a time. Yes, that's my main focus as well. (laughs) Now that is a joke. (laughs) (laughs) He will say say to read us. Good one, my great chum. <laughs> you also, are very smart and funny. As like, Rita's done slap your face twice in that book, I'd like to formally welcome you to the party. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't seem to have five gold to add into the pot. Poor <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Rita's. 
<laughs> well, brings it upon himself, I suppose. He does. He <laughs> definitely does. He's great. Uh, okay. Any uh, any other any other other? I'm good. No. Get some sleep. All right, you guys sleep, you rest, you recover any spells that you might have used, and the uh, you guys just as normal pop out the uh, the next morning. Oops. Fully equipping ourselves with climbing gear to, to continue forward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll Same. strap that stuff on. Uh, and I I love that idea, but before that. You're gonna have to roll initiative. initiative. Jeez, I'm crow. Okay. Oh, oh my god. god, they are just, just camping outside. Oh, there's our two. Jesus. Okay. Huge. That's... Where's where's my token? Oh, uh, there, there are no. Oops. I just closed the turn Oop. order. Everybody, hang out. Hang out. Delete. 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 Uh, All right. So drag your token on if you would, and roll in. Oh my and if you want to roll uh, your regular dice, you can just tell me and I'll add you a turn. Oof, that's <laughs> all coming up at the bottom with one of those yetis. Nice. Oh, good. They uh, they for sure were, were sniffing about where you had been. They could smell you, but could not seem to find you. And you just inopportunely happened to come up at breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, is everybody in? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because uh, Clunk acts on your turn. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, he doesn't have his own initiative. All yeah. right. Sort ascending jukebox. You want sort of descending there. Uh, and we got the music. Or do and, oh, I? <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> now, did you just say we have the music? Oh, God. There's two Abominable Yeti and the uh, initiative is rolled in. I and know, but like, the music makes it real, you know? <laughs> that, you know, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Jesus, how did you all have turns before them? That was great, great, <laughs> great rolls. Uh, all right, read us. You are... Um, right, well, I'm not going to be able to do much against these guys, so I'll go 5, 10, I'll give Bertram a heroism. Uh, I always call it heroism, haste, sorry, a haste. Oh, that one. <laughs> oh, that <That's>, one. <laughs> well, it's, um, well, it's a very different spell. Yeah, um, and I will get close to Clunk, end my turn, and Clunk gets to move, he'll go 5, 10, and he'll use dodge action, which is the only thing you can do unless I use my action to use him to attack, which I don't. So just dodge action for him. Uh, okay. Ends have you? Turn. Okay, I guess you haven't gone five feet outside of his. Not yet. No. Okay. Uh, all right, Carolus. I I will bonus action hex the one to myself, purple, and then I will fire fire. Two Eldritch Blasts. That's just a creature. All right. We're going to put Spanner on him for Hex. Um, all right. You're going to fire two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Roll to hit, please. I will indeed, sir. That is 11 and a 19. So that's armor class 30 and 22. Oh. 22 30? minimum. Oh, plus 11. Not plus 19. Holy Jesus. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I was I, I, I was taken aback by that. Yes, I was a bit shell shocked. So, so those both hits. Uh right, damage wise, that is six, seven, eight plus three uh, uh eight plus five, so that's thirteen, and then another fifteen on top. Plus not uh, plus another four. So <laughs> So how many? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. So that is Six, seven, eight, so it's 13. Oh, yeah, real dice is so 13, much better because they yeah. don't 20, do all the math for you. 23. It is 23. 32 damage. 32, okay. These things are horrifying, I'll point out. They? Yeah, they are. Uh, anything else for you, sir? Yeah, I move. 
five, ten. I'm assuming I'm sort of like moving up the mountain a little bit. Straight up a mountain. Yeah, I, I'll I'll allow that though. It's it's difficult terrain, so you you couldn't get your full, but you only took ten feet, so I'll yeah I'll, I'll allow that. You've got climbing gear on, so because you guys declared that. Riala. I'm going to cast Toll the Dead on purple. Okay, wisdom save. Yes, DC sixteen. What if I rolled an eight? Then <laughs> you fail. Damn. Damn. Oh, I rolled a 10 and a 4, so 14. Uh, yeah, so the, you, you can, the, uh, the, the old saying that he got his bell rung, you can just see him trying to kind of shake that off, not knowing what a bell is. It's kind of disorienting to him for, for real. And then I am just going to um, move a bit out of the way. Just going to move a bit, not on the precipice and edge of <laughs> here. Okay, so do note that you are still kind of on the edge. This yeah. is all falling, falling down to your oh, 50 sorry. feet of fall damage. DM. Yes. That creature would have also been pushed 20 feet. Uh, even if he's huge? All it says is... Da, 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 repelling blast. When, a, when you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push that creature up to 10 feet away from you in a straight line. That's all it says. 10 feet away, okay. Oh, with each Eldritch Blast. Each Eldritch Blast, that would be 20 feet. Hopefully off the edge. It'd be fantastic. Uh, okay, yeah. So you you pushed him back twenty. Uh, Riala was still able to to hit him, kind of as he was a bit a bit scrambling up. So he, you didn't hear him fall. And uh, oh, I mean, he's a yeti. He's he's a climber. So he, but he is now on the kind of side of the mountain, clinging there. So. Okay. And I did uh, change my route a little bit just to put me a little bit more up. The, okay. The awesome. Anything else for Riala? Uh, nope, that's it. Mina. All right. So I'm going to cast on this. Uh... Wait. Oh, wait. So he's. So from where you are, you could probably still cast and hit purple. Um, okay. Yeah. Because, especially because with you're Eldridge. right on the you're right on the edge. Like I, I don't know that Cesar could do it without moving to the edge, but. Since you're yeah. on the edge and looking across, I think you could probably hit him. Yeah. Um, cool. So I'm going to go after purple then and do the lovely um, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Roll and to then... hit, please. Mm -hmm. oh, I just threw that. Just let me, it. Let me use my other <laughs> D20. I, One I'm, just, I'm glad I didn't hear. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> does an 18 hit? <laughs> an 18 does hit. Okay. And God, I'm, so, I'm, mm, okay. Um, Elder's Blast. So that's 1d10 plus 5. Where's my d10? Blah. Where are you with d10? This one. Okay. Seven plus five, that's four. No. Yes. They're God. Twelve. Jesus Christ. Hello? <laughs> um and then Um and then I'm gonna do for my bonus action hex. Which blah blah blah. So he is already hexed with Careless's hex. Okay. Yeah, but I can think both. You, yeah, hex. you can do both. So you can do both. Okay. Yeah. She she would uh, you would have done that first before you would have hit. Yeah, hex. Except that she didn't. Yeah. yeah Except because she doesn't. Oh, so, I don't know. You need to tell me these things. Yeah. So we, save your hex. Oh, well, I mean, you can hex them now, and then it's just there for next turn. But if you hex them now, it won't do anything until you attack them next. Yeah. The, okay. So that if you had hexed him first, you would have gotten additional damage when you damaged him. Oh. 
You have to tell okay. me these things. That's right. I don't know what I don't know what to do now. Um, bonus. And, I mean, you could just could just give up and jump in his mouth. He's hungry. I could. I mean, they're just hungry. They're like the they're like the wyverns. They're hungry. I could. Oh no, <laughs> not these guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, you better look out for a baby yeti somewhere. Yeah, I'll take care of them first. So that... <laughs> Well, <laughs> any of my bonus actions wouldn't be any of you, so yeah. You've done well, and you've already spent your bonus action to use to, to cast hex. Well, I thought you said I couldn't cast hex. You, you can. can. You can. Yeah. But it's yeah. best to do it at you the just, beginning before you fire spells. Yeah, you just don't get any benefit this round from it. If you would have done it first, you, you would have. Ready next round, though. And he he hex per persists. Yeah, so you would have cast hmm. that first. I, I use a bonus action to cast hex. And then you would have mm -hmm. fired your Eldritch Blast. You would have then got the extra damage. You can use your bonus action first? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> you can do your three things in any order. So you can yeah. move bonus action and action in any order that you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Z says, don't forget yeah. to choose an ability when you hex. I do mine the athletics. Disadvantage. So if it is climbing, uh, sorry, strength. So if it is climbing, it needs to roll that as disadvantage. Okay. So purple. Strength. Disadvantage. And then, Mina, you will also need to pick a uh, an ability for it to have disadvantage on while it's hexed. Oh, and what did you say? Climbing? So I've done strength, so yeah. you, you can pick wisdom, uh, like dexterity or something. Sure, dexterity, yeah, that one. Eh? Dexterity is a good choice. They're used to a lot of save for a lot of spells, so. It doesn't count. It doesn't that, affect sadly. saves, unfortunately. It's only like that. skill checks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, ab yeah ab ability, ability checks. checks. Well, if he tries a sleight of hand, then he's fucked. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, see it, no problem. We tries to stealth off. <laughs> Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I have this this vision of just like a yeti with like a, a set of uh, three bar three card Monty set out like. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, all right. Anything else, Mina? You can still use know. your movement. You can use your movement, or you can stay there. Uh, sure. I'll now I'll stay here. It's fine. Okay, Bertram. All right. Um, so I've got the haste. I will pull the sword, and I'm oh, gonna. I, I forgot you had the haste. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna kind of yell at everybody. Finish off the purple one. I'll hold the green one back. And keep it occupied. This is my goal. Um, so I'll start swinging at him with this sword. Okay. Natural 19 for the first one, so I think that'll hit. That'll be okay. Um, 10 damage for the first attack. Okay. Uh, second attack is an 18. 18 hits. Uh, six points of damage on that one. Uh, I'm gonna stunning strike. I meant to stunning strike the first one, but that's fine. Can you stun on a creature that's more than one size different than you? Yes. Man, monks are so fucking broken. Yes, they are. Uh, just any creature when you hit with a melee attack. Uh, it needs a con save. You couldn't grapple him. But you can stun him. Yep, I can smack could, him on the head. You could grapple him, it'd be more like a cuddle. Yeah, yeah. Just give his yeah. kneecap a big old hug. <laughs> Seventeen. That is a save. Uh, for my hasted action, I'll attack again. Okay. That's a nineteen to hit. Uh, nineteen hits. That's another six points of damage. Okay. And I'll stunning strike again. Oh man, you can. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Come on, roll high again. <laughs> Yeah, that one was not as good. That's only an 11. Okay, so he is stunned. Fuck uh. me. <laughs> uh, which I was going to use my bonus action to dodge, but that seems 
silly. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll spend the key point to flurry of blows for my bonus action and take two more attacks. <laughs> now that he's stunned with advantage, natural 20. The natural 20, the crit, yep. then I guess. <laughs> so remember that's full full base damage plus the plus oh, the symbol. Yeah, damage. I rolled an extra die then, because I rolled that one. Oh I rolled a six on it anyway, so that's fine. So ten plus uh, three, fine for you. <laughs> Thirteen points on that one. Okay. And last attack <laughs> is a uh, fifteen to hit. Uh, that is a contest. Oh, but oh, wait, he's no, stunned, no, no, no. So have... It was a, it was a fifteen on a die, twenty-two. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, seven more points of damage. Wow. You guys are beasties. My heart goes All out. Right. To I know. How painful it is to see any uh... creatures just get like that. Well, yeah. and I was, I was like, you know, should it be two? I think two might be too many. <laughs> One's down the side of a mountain. One's. Stunned. Yeah, I wish now I would have stunned and just got hit like six times in in one turn. Yeah. I wish I would have put a third one up now. Anything else for you, Bertram? No, that's it. I'm not even gonna move because I'm in a decent spot. But I. I hey keep, guys, look I at that one climbing here. down the mountain. Oh, there's a the copy paste third one coming down. Yeah, they can uh, they can just they can roar for help if they want to. Go for it. They are uh, they just like it. like a hundred dead yetis here at the end of combat, <laughs> and I'm just in tears. <laughs> Why? And Carolus is like, "Looks like we're gonna have a barbecue." <laughs> <laughs> Still got some of that crap. Uh, say <laughs> Cesar. Uh, yeah. So, um, purple is hanging onto the side of the mountain here. Yeah, I mean. It, You'd have to get closer to see, but oh. being a mountain climbing creature, you don't think that he's like, you know, a Why cat is climbing so hard. Keep hanging in there, yeah. Um, would he be in any way here perform uh, unsecured? Tell me more. Um, I mean, he he has all four of his appendages like gripped on, so I'm not I'm not sure if that satisfies what you're thinking. Um, I'm not sure. I want to get within range. I feel like using the word unsecured, you're thinking of something that's pushing objects and yes. not necessarily... Oh, he's not an object. Okay. Well, I mean, like, he's gripped onto the wall, so, like, I don't... <laughs> nice, a nice, a nice thought, a nice try, but he is not an object, unfortunately. That's fine. I'm still going to hit him with a thunder wave. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. You know, you, you no, know you're in the... No. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We, 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 no, no, no. Go, thunder wave, baby. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, Can I take a reaction? I just have to. I just have to look up real quick. Uh, you I still have a reaction, Carolus. You can. If I know well, that's coming, because I can also cast it. I will counterspell it. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> on, on the side of a mountain. What usually happens when loud noises on the side of mountains? Avalanche. <laughs> He's just trying to kill the Yeti with an avalanche. Don't you? <laughs> it's it's well, all calculated. Well, with us with it. <laughs> we'll just get inside the lantern. No problem. Or the lamp. <laughs> yeah, but where's, the, where's that lantern going to end up being? All the way down the bottom of the mountain. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> uh, okay, so tell me tell me what the, what, what the Are you damage really doing and, it? And... Yeah, I'm really going to oh, do it. Do it. Do it. Do Let's do see it. what happens. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run up uh, to about here. Um, All of us turn around and go, no! <laughs> <laughs> and um, he's got to make a con save. Okay, uh, sorry, I, I, was, I did go search real quick for the avalanche rules. Um, <laughs> he's got to make a con save. Okay. Uh, that's unfortunately only a 12. Uh, that doesn't do it. We're looking at uh, eight, nine, 12 points of damage. Okay. Minus 12. So I am going to roll a d6. Evens, there will be an avalanche. Odds, there will not. 
Uh, even so, I rolled a six, so there will be an avalanche. Oh boy! A typical nice avalanche is you guys. three hundred feet wide, one hundred fifty feet long, and thirty feet thick. Um, all creatures, all creatures must roll initiative. We're already in initiative. Uh, everybody must make. Wow, oh, that's really interesting. Must make a DC fifteen. Strength save? That doesn't make any sense. If we're swimming, if it's like, if we're Don't in it, we've got to swim against it, I think. Yeah. Or... If it is, usually it's oh, like you. a couple of rounds away. And that's the chance we have to cover that 300 foot range. Kind of, you can play it like that. So twice each round on initiative counts 10 and 0, the avalanche travels 300 feet. Yeah, it's up to so... you to decide how far away it is right now. Well, it will happen on 10 and 0, so... Cesar will finish his turn, and then, hold on, I'm going to add Avalanche. And one of those is a 10. Sort descending, and we were on Cesar's turn. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else, Cesar? Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna start <laughs> running, uh, running this way. Uh, yeah, I, use, when, I use five you, to get over when here. You, when you cracked it off, you for sure heard it crack off above you as well, so you know something coming. Mm-hmm. So I'll do what I do. Uh, I did 5, 10, 15, 20. Get to the bottle. 30, 35. <laughs> the bottle's still there and it's still bolted down. <laughs> You're not wrong. All right, is that you? Yeah, it's me. All right, so the... Oh, crap. He's stunned until the end of Nate's next turn, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> There's no save at all for that. You've done it. Uh, you found yeah, it. Yeah, no. But I failed it. Yeah. Hashtag monks are busted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He automatically, All right. automatically fails, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, that's not going to be good for him on this upcoming avalanche check. Um, so it travels 300 feet down. I'm going to say this first time that no one is in danger, but if you for sure see it kind of peeky poking up here above Carolus. So y'all know it's it's coming. Coming uh, to, to how to wide is this avalanche? <laughs> three hundred feet. It's three hundred feet wide, and it travels three hundred feet, feet. Okay. I thought it was a hundred feet wide and travels three hundred feet. Three hundred feet wide, one hundred and fifty feet long, and thirty feet thick, and it travels three hundred feet on initiative ten and three hundred feet on initiative zero. What's the difference oh in width goodness. and length on an app? Well, oh, I guess it's like depth and, that way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three yeah. D space. Yeah. Think about it. Um, so no rolls need to be made there. This Yeti, he's not real sure what to do. He's he's gonna roll the dice on hoping that the avalanche is gonna kind of skate he's off. Got disadvantage uh, on that as well. <laughs> mm, yes, he's gonna hope though that like you, Careless, you you probably will have advantage on your roll because it's you're kind of up that slope there. Uh, he's going to hope that he gets advantage to cancel his disadvantage. Uh, but he is going to use uh, his cold breath, I think. Uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's going to use his cold breath, which is a... A uh, 30-foot cone of frigid air. Each creature in that area must make a DC 18 con save. Oh, boy. I Second. Well. Oh, uh, which I'm one is this? It's purple. I say, is there anyone even within range? On a 30-foot cone? Yeah. Yeah, the measure said that they were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did like, you do? Okay. Almost all, all of you. Those, those three. Yeah, I don't think it's going to get Bertram. But it will certainly get... I will do if you measure it from here, though, yeah. 
What spell did you cast, Rodney? Was it Thunder Clap? Uh, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. Yeah, okay, that definitely gets me, and I failed my save because I got six on the dice. Uh, what's the save? It's a DC 18 con save. Con save. This does not count as a spell. I ate a road for uh, Clunk as well. So. I got a 20. Dirty 20. Okay. Oh, Clunk got a 21. Say. All right, so Clunk and Nate saved. So they'll only take half. Oh, I got uh, 11. And Cesar and, and Redis will take all of it. So I'm going to do this in roll 20 just because it's a lot of dice. A lot of damage. Did he pass or foul his save against the Thunder Wave? What's that? Did he pass or foul the Thunder Wave? He failed, he failed, the, he failed the Thunder Wave. Okay, he gets pushed 10 feet. Uh, okay, then he climbed back up 10 feet. Yeah. Yeah. Either way. More yeah. than capable for this Yeti. Uh, Slash, uh, it's got a disadvantage. Climbing. Carry on. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. I am so, down. Caesar, Caesar, Caesar and Redis take 57. Wow. And oh my Clunk God. and Bertram take um, uh, 29. Let's see 20, if I can... 28. 28. I might be able to intercept Did some of that. Let me double check my ability. Uh, I mean, does this count as an attack? Absolutely. Okay. Well, then a creature within five feet of me, I can intercept some of that damage. Okay. So who's right there? Caesar, I think. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. And Where are you? And Redis. Redis is there too. Oh, no, yeah. Re <laughs> Redis, yeah. So Caesar's too far, but Redis, I can... <laughs> I wasn't looking at the map. I was reading my thing. I'm trying to remember who was near me. Okay, so Redis, I will intercept. I rolled a two, so that's not great. They they do, Z, 40 feet. For a 40 feet speed, 40 feet climb. Uh, well, I intercept six points of that damage, Redis. So you are oh, welcome. Oh, nice. So only, only only 51 to read us. <laughs> but yeah, that dude. is the difference between him being like unconscious and conscious. So. Absolutely. Absolute. They do. That was clutch. That um, is great. Absolutely clutch. And so you got everybody else has your damage sorted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. What did I take? 28. Uh, you took 28. Yeah. And Clunk took 28. Mm, yeah. That's workable. <laughs> I've, no worries, I've got two points of health just in time to get hit by an avalanche. <laughs> uh, you know what? You might you might save. Uh, so this is a DC 15 strength saving throw. Yeah, I ain't saving that. <laughs> you, uh, you might. Uh, so You've got uh, a DC careless... inspiration, remember? Ain't gonna and, do the trick, and, and a D20 inspiration, I think, as well, unless you burn uh, that last that session. Imagine. No, I gave him one last session for the oh, lightning yeah. fishing. Ah, right. Is that just another, is that like advantage? Yes. Yes. Right. Uh, so, careless, you can make yours at advantage as well. And this is strength save, right? Strength saving throw, yes. Yeah, the haste doesn't help me at all in this. Unless you want to say that the haste helps me swim better. <laughs> no, I, I for sure don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a, a natural one and a 16. Uh, okay, a 16 save, so you'll only take half the damage. Well, I got a 3, but with advantage, I got a 9, so... I have advantage you too, right? right? You said, you've right? Got... Yeah, but Harry, you've you also got a D6. I have no idea. <laughs> no, Nate does not have advantage. <laughs> if, you, if you roll a 6 What's on the, that um... D6, you would have okay. passed. I'll try that then. Oh, look at that, it's I'm... a 6. <laughs> I have written myself off to death. Um, but I you're still going to take more damage, so. Yeah, you're still going to. Oh, right. Is it half damage? Great. Well, I'm dead anyway. And now I've used all my inspiration. Thanks, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I got all my inspiration just to die anyway. <laughs> I got a 12 on this save. I don't know what the DC for the avalanche is. It's 15. DC 15. Well, I got a 13, I so I failed. We got a dirty 20. And Mina? 
I'm sorry, I had totally just left the party. <laughs> I was I was reading up on all this stuff. Um, all right. She, she zoom lagged. <laughs> <laughs> she put the paper up. DC uh, strength strength saving throw, please. Yeah. Uh, wait, what is my thing? Strength save. Where are you? Oh, plus two, eighteen. All right. For anyone who you are the luckiest bastards I have ever played with. Anyone who saved takes one point of damage. Yo, oh, anyone really? who failed takes two. Wow. <laughs> 1d10 bludgeoning damage on a failed save, half as much on a success. I rolled a two. <laughs> I'm fine. This is that me. was the difference between Redis's life and death, though. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Take that back, Harry. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's true actually. Because if I failed, they would have taken two damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Redis is. We're all doing everything we can just to keep Redis alive. Oh my god. Only to wish me silent in the future. <laughs> well, yes. I don't uh, want you Re dead. Just quiet. <laughs> just quiet. <laughs> Redis, it is now your turn. Oh boy, I've got all one. of your all of your hit point. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, okay. Well, is your, uh, and, and is everyone your remember, still going? You you popped out. Oh, is that a concentration? Yeah, I got a nineteen on it then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, everyone remember that you guys oh. popped out at eight in the morning, and now it is eight oh, o'clock and twelve seconds in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I rolled a five on the concentration for the avalanche though. Okay. So, Have I got a roll against no that as well for taking one damage? Take damage. You yeah, if you take damage. damage, you got to do a concert. Yeah. I, I rolled a nine. Oh. I rolled so a that nine. Does, so what do I add? So that does not. Drops hex. Oh, it drops your hex. No, I rolled a nine on the oh, dice. Okay, okay. So it's plus my con, which is oh, plus yeah. eight. Yeah. So 17. DC, D, DC, DC 10 for even. Yeah. So I got 17. Oh, oh, oh. You yeah, managed yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. So okay. Eight. So Mina, I, I need you to roll dice. for your hex as well. Uh, D20. Yeah, D20 plus con. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, plus con. 16. You save as well. Your hex is still up. Okay. Uh, read us. Okay. Right. I'm in dire straits here. So I will. Uh... You, got a, you got a healing potion though, yeah? Yeah, but I also have a, a good healing spell I might use. Um, so I just remember also that have a life cleric in the party. So that's yeah. true. And just remember that in my games, you can drink one of your own healing potions as a bonus action. Oh right. Okay. Well, I will do that. And is that a two d four plus two? Is that right? Two d four plus healing two. Healing potion. Yeah. Uh, on a regular one, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I'll do that, and I'll take seven healing. May save my life again at some point. <laughs> you know what? If I keep rolling onesie twosie, seven might hold you for several rounds. <laughs> sure thing. And as my main action, I'd like to do a skill check. I want to look and see if there's any infant yetis around before I get surprised. <laughs> uh, oh, no, please. Please make a perception roll, and I'm gonna give you advantage just because I you're mean, so cold fucking blooded. I've got a lot of experience looking for <laughs> infant monsters. A lot of experience <laughs> killing <laughs> children. Well, only because I don't want them to see their parents then. I got, oh, I'm with advantage. Not an eight then. I got a 15. Uh, you don't, you don't, you neither see nor hear. If there were any Yeti around when that thunder wave cracked off and the avalanche started, they are smart enough to have steered clear. Okay. I'm using mafia tactics against the Yeti. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> attack your family. If you know. Any, uh, anything else for you, sir? That's all I've got. I think I'll, um, Clunk will take the dodge action again, though. Okay. Which he can do. And that ends Carol up. Carolus. I will blast the Yeti. I've already been blasting. Yeah, you're, you, since you're up a little bit and he got back to the edge to use his cold breath, so uh, you can for sure see him. Breath. Yeah. Um, okay, so first one will be a 15 on a dice. Second one will be a 17 on a dice. So I would have said they were hit. So that's 14. 
with the bonus action on top with Mandolin Hex. That's a 19 damage before I even roll. Nine. Oh, there goes a the dice on the floor. 19, so that's 23, 27, 32, 41 damage. Holy snakes! Wow. And and he gets and that's, blasted. That's for the pair. No, that's yeah, for the pair. That's, 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 that's not for a single. Okay. That's okay. with Mandan in Hex on top of that. And he gets blasted 20 feet. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> that's what I mean. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be rolling up uh with Madden in hex and all this hex stuff. I wasn't even gonna take hex, I was gonna get rid of that. I was laughing at the fact that he's getting pushed down the mountain constantly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, y'all better hope you don't get smart here in a minute. Uh all right, anything else, careless? Uh that's my bonus action gone. Uh I will move closer to the bottle. And with my hand, because <laughs> the bottle's still pinned, yeah. Absolutely, we, we just come out of it. Yeah, because um, you popped out into this yeah. fight, you didn't have a chance to retrieve it yet. And I'm going to hold on to the chain. That's literally, mind you, I got advantage where I was, and I know I'm going to stay where I was. I stay where I was because I got advantage okay. where I was. Yeah. Yeah, because um, it was coming over the top of you. Yeah, that's me, dumb. All uh, right, Riala. Try and find my dice now. Okay. Um, I'm going to step just a little bit closer so that I have um, Redis, Bertram, and Caesar in my range. Actually, I think I can't. I think I can't help Bertram, but Redis and Caesar can. Um, so I'm going to use my channel divinity preserve life. Okay. So, um, Harry, I'm going to start with you. Okay. How many hit points do you need to get to half? Um, I'd be like 26. So I'm going to say like 18. Okay. So you get, you get 18 hit points. Oh, thank you. So, um, I get to dole out a total of 50, but you can only go up to half of your total. Uh, so yeah. that's, I just have to math for a second. Sure, so I have 32 hit points left. Um, so Caesar, you can have as many of those as you need to get, to get up to, to half. half. Oh, I only need... Um, Fifteen. Okay. And I think Bertram, how are you? Are you you're not that I'm, far down, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty okay. I'm at I'm only I'm at fifty nine out of eighty nine. Yes, he's you're not even below you're half. You're above half. I'm yeah, at two how, thirds, yeah. How is Clunk? Is he below half? You can give him two hit points to bring him to half health. Oh, no, he's 57, so what's that, like, 28? You can give him one hit point to bring him to half health. Well, I might as well do it, because one hit point <laughs> made all the difference a minute Indeed. ago. You're not wrong. Um, and then, how are you, Mina? I only have one hit point so far. So you can have 16, sorry. No, 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 she's only, to... she's only down one. Oh, no, I'm only down, down one. one. Okay, yeah. well, then I have 16 left, so whatever. It's like, uh, I got one to... hit point and I'm still shooting shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I guess I could move a little bit closer if Carolus needs any. I don't think he's been hit, have you? Uh, yeah, I think I've you, got, you, I've, I've you got scooted a boo -boo. by that avalanche pretty good. And you weren't in the cone. Yeah. It was really the people that were in the cone that needed it. I've okay. Got, yeah. got a bit of a boo boo. Bit of a splinter. Yes. Uh, Mina. So this guy here, you can see him, but it's, it's definitely getting more difficult. It would probably be disadvantage on a on a shot at him. Yeah, I was gonna go for the green dude. Everybody likes to hit somebody who's stunned on the ground. He's still stunned. <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Until the end of Nate's turn, he's stunned. Yep. So. Is the stunned creature automatically prone, or is it just standing stunned? 
Is no, it? He's, he's standing stunned. Uh, Unless you knocked him prone. Is that a different one than stunning strike? Yeah, that's something else. Yeah. Well, hmm. Wait. You ain't gonna make you ain't gonna make friends with him. I mean, <laughs> you might as well shoot him. <laughs> I mean, okay. Um, I guess I'll Eldritch blast him. On green or purple? On uh, green. Yeah. Okay. You have advantage on those. Cool. Um. Wait, is it that one? I'm just gonna do it that way. Cause I don't, my my brain isn't. Oh, yeah. It's definitely yeah. 27. 27. Yeah, for sure. So if you click that pink box where it says click. I'm, I'm trying and it's not letting me. So there's that. Oh. <laughs> you can get manual if you want this type forward slash uh, 1d10. Is it 10? Can you cast Eldritch Blast at a different level? It may be asking you what level to cast it at. Um, no, it's a cantrip. It shouldn't care. Yeah, it should yeah. automatically. Weird. Roll 20, everybody. Roll 20. Woohoo. Wait, um, what am I supposed to do? If you Just roll try, a d10. Yeah, if you've got a physical d10, that works. Or yeah, you there's that. Forward slash R space uh, one d10. If you have one of those beautiful Kraken dice that we're doing a giveaway yeah. for in a while here. I do, I do. And do you have Wait, Agonizing Blast? Do I have agonizing blast? I don't think so. Where is okay. my D10? Oh, D10. there it is. Haha. Have it if I'm right. Yeah. Oh, seven. Is it straight seven, or is there something added to that? I don't know. <laughs> if she's got <laughs> agonizing blast, blast. Yeah, yeah. If she's got agonizing blast, then she adds a charisma bonus to it. She does. Why? Where does it say that? And it's your Eldritch your... invocation. It, sure. The answer is more questions. <laughs> so, <laughs> where does it say that? It's in your Eldritch invocations. Okay. <laughs> cool. So it's, it's under it's under features and traits for your class. <laughs> awesome. So it's a seven plus whatever stuff that is. Plus it I'm also not, says it next to the spell. Plus, it says plus one five. D10 yeah. plus five. One D ten plus five. So twelve. Cool. So twelve. 12. Yeah. And then you yeah. roll it because you've got yeah. two of them. Yep, yeah, she gets to fire again. Yay! Madeline is so over all this. This whole. Day <laughs> I'm thing. just. I'm. I'm very tired. I know. I'm trying to get to the end here. I thought you guys started out so strong, and then you set the avalanche off. Then we got avalanched. Uh, Twenty-seven still hits. And this one's just a six. That's plus five. All right. Yep. So one 11? plus five. Oh, one plus five. Ooh, one okay. plus five. Oh, wow. <laughs> Six. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. Anything else for you, ma'am? I'm going to move um, over here. Oh, so yeah. that Group up, please. Group up. I'm going to be gonna tuck myself in right here. Uh, already. Bertram. Um... As the haste wears off, I cannot move or take actions till the end of my turn. <laughs> Ooh, that's unfortunate. The yeah. downside of haste, of course. Does it wear uh, off that round? Uh, when the yeah, spell ends. The, yeah. At the end of at the end of my turn, I'm fine. So I'll be able to take my reactions, but I can't do anything on this turn. So we're moving forward then to Cesar. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And trouble. so now the Yeti nice. is no longer stunned. <laughs> yep. Green is free to act at this point. Green is free to act. Cool, 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 cool. I don't like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast a Guiding Bolt on it. Okay. Uh, come off the thing, please. Okay. It's still stunned. Oh, that's a uh, nat 20. Uh, no longer he, stunned him for it. Yeah, he's no longer stunned. Oh, okay. Oh, it's to the yeah. end of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The well, we crit anyway, so... Yeah. Nice. yeah. Okay, right. um, and I'm doing this at a fifth level. <laughs> All right, so I will allow that, but next time, if you're casting at a different level, please say that as you cast the spell. 
Yeah, not no once you see that it hits. No, I, I, no, I was oh, planning on oh, doing it. Hit? it. Oh, ninth level. I absolutely cast it. <laughs> yeah. ninth I, level. I was planning on doing it from the fifth level to begin with. Sorry. All right, I, I trust you. Hold on if, to if your can, spells, too, kids. If we can this call is like that. eight eight a.m. in the morning on the this day we're going like, to see the on the day eight, we're going to see the wizard. Eight a.m. twenty four in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what's the damage on that? Oh, you have to roll to hit, yeah? Or is that all the hits? I rolled I rolled a crit to hit. Oh, you crit did. Hit. Uh, obviously, I was trying to block that from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be rolling nine. <laughs> Roll 20. God. Just to save your, <laughs> save your sanity. <clears throat> uh, give me a second. Uh... That damn dog again. He's caught in the avalanche. <laughs> He's got a barrel of whiskey around his neck. What's that? Season? <laughs> it's a dog in the avalanche. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. <laughs> That's the sound of damage. Five hundred. Waiting on bated breath. <laughs> uh, give me a second because I forgot what the max damage is on this. <laughs> <laughs> How do you mean the max damage? Is there max damage? Well, saying... he rolled a crit, so it's maximum dice damage, and then ah, you right, roll yeah. the, the for the crit damage. All right, so the max damage which is, is forty eight. Not going to be on good. A, for me. Say on a spell too, though. Yeah, yeah the it's spell, it's it's a hit spell. Like, yeah. but it's a hit. Yeah, yeah, but I guess. It, yeah. And at 5th yeah, level uh, as well, a 1st yep. level guided uh, bolt is what, 48? It's 5, 6, 7, 8, I thought that only applied to like the weapon where you're doing like a D8. Mm. Is it? Like, so this yeti's going to no, we, take a We've D4 unfortunately been playing yeah. it with, with to hit spells as well. <laughs> oh, right. Wow. That's so really like, like you can't do that on a fireball since it's not a to hit. So that's going to be um, uh, 82 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, that rule might need a bit of working. <laughs> tell, tell me what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's does it just explode? Uh, just explode. So, so if I if I create a disintegrate, does it take literally take a hundred damage before I roll damage? No, because yeah. disintegrate is no dice, isn't it? Disintegrate. Oh, no dice. Yeah. Is it a t- is that a to hit? It's a to hit, right? It's only uh, a hit. It's only is that a save? Sure. It's a save. If it's a save, you, it if doesn't. You found, no, yeah. If you pass no, the save, like, it's dice. If um, they pass the save, it's, it's 5d6. It's a dex save. Right? It's a dex save spell. So if I crit it, yeah. no, I wouldn't crit it because it's you can't you crit crit cause cause it's not, it's not yeah, to hit. It's not a to hit. Yeah, no, it is yeah a but like with my divine smites and stuff. Yeah. The divine they, smite they is an add-on to your regular melee attack. A disintegrates a rage. Yeah, but but it's still but it still crits. Yeah, yeah, because it's an add-on to your melee. Yeah. It disintegrates not a to hit spell. No, no, no! But I'm, yeah. but I'm saying with our, with our crit rules as written now, I would do oh. max divine smite damage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! It's it's all very unfortunate for me. <laughs> yeah, and it will be for you when I crit against you when guys you as crit. well. So. Yeah, absolutely. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, when you crit right, so against you all as well. Yes. So what's it look like, <laughs> yeah, Cesar? Yeah. Um, you know, like you know, like when Godzilla charges up his atomic breath, it's like womp 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 womp. That's how it looks like it's glowing through like all my armor and everything, and it just shoots out of my hands into this yeti. That's cool. Well, you have thoroughly jibbed him, uh, because that was five more points than he had <laughs> in his life. Yeah, he, he was mining uh, the frost breath for us as well. I could it, see it. <laughs> it, it. He absolutely was casting cold breath next turn. Yeah. Um, he's not casting nothing now. Uh, anything else, Cesar? Uh, nope, that's it. All right. Well, everybody make a DC 15 strength saving throw. Oh, dear. Careless, you have advantage. Wait, the avalanche is still happening? (laughs) Yes. It travels 300 feet a second, then it's 100 feet wide, is it? So maybe should have passed this, I don't know. Yeah, I was. If if it travels 300 feet and it's only 150 feet long, I was under the impression that it was gone. How long is it? Yeah, you were. I was. <laughs> <laughs> was I'm I, sorry, I, I was roll, this a strength save? Decent. Strength yeah. save, yes. Okay. I got a 19. I got a 5. I also got a 5. Woo! <laughs> I got an 8. Watch I got a 
11. From got six, so... I'll take my that. one point of damage. Uh, no, actually, so <laughs> if you saved, it's two points. If you did not save, it's four. Woohoo! <laughs> I, I, I roll with advantage, and I got double three. <laughs> Oof. Oh. So I got four so damage. Four, four damage party-wide. I love um, the avalanche. Who's throwing snowballs at me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was um, <laughs> that a chest charity. cannon? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna come back up here and see his jibbed friend. He's gonna see six on a recharge. Oh boy, not good. Not good for some of you. <laughs> Very not good. He casted it at Rial, I guess. He, he knows to attack a healer, right? He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Riala. <laughs> Just be purely blunt and pragmatic. <laughs> oh, you know, because I'm the only one smart enough to not stay bunched up. Hey, I only have an intelligence of 12. Oh, and careless, yeah. <laughs> We're being careless, man. Oh, boys. Oh, gosh, where's well. my... I don't, oh, there it is. I was going to say, where's this my turning... Right. My turning handle. <laughs> What's the what's the save? Is it? That's no, it's just you I punched up because crafty, of the avalanche. You crafty yeah. son of a bitch, Jade. <laughs> there's just there's no way I can actually hit Jade. Yeah. Um. Uh, all right. Uh, con saves, please, for everyone except for Carolus and Riala. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh. And I was about to go put 19. my hand back on the bottle. What, Seventeen. I got a fifteen. Whatever the DC is. I'll Seventeen. Use... Flash of genius to give. Who's in my trouble here? Uh, Nina. I'll bring that up to a saving one by adding plus five to it. Okay. But I unfortunately got a six, and Crunk, Crunk got a, like a four, so not good. We both take full damage. Oof. Uh, all right. If Excellent. you failed, you take 53 points, unless uh, Bertram can do some reaction in there. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what was the, what was the DC? Uh, eight, uh, 18. 18, yeah. 18, if, okay, yeah, so I if fail. You, if you made it, you only take 26 points. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction now to do the thing that I should be doing as a paladin and use my channel divinity to rebuke the violent. What does that do? That sounds uh, not good for me. Not do I want to know? Fantastic. <laughs> does except uh, there's no way I can make this not lethal. Unfortunately, it's, it's not, not a person. It's not lethal to me. It's, it's not a person. Me down. Uh, but they're humanoid, aren't they? Not. They're monstrosities. Monst monstrosities. They're monstrosities. All right, and he, and these are actually chaotic evil as well. That's what, according to their card. Okay. Huge, huge monstrosity, chaotic evil. Uh, okay, so I need a wisdom saving throw. On a failure, the attacker takes radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt, or oh, its damage shit. on a success. Uh, seventeen. Okay, so you take half of that damage as radiant damage. Twenty-six. Uh, okay. Tell me, Bertram, what it looks like. Um, or can you see it? Does he just get blown off and you don't know what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, can, I mean, I see it. So it, uh, I just get enveloped with this, uh, this icy blast and I just like narrow my eyes and point out to it. And say away, and just I just rechannel this cold energy and blast it back at it. Well, I think that what what you can see and what Carolus for sure can see is that you square up on his face because that's mostly his head is above, and his head goes in a direction that you know his body didn't go because it was only the head that you saw. <laughs> and then you hear some things that maybe sound like a body. Yeah. So you seem to have shot his head off. Nice. Uh, okay, so we've got some people that are down, though, yeah? 
yeah, Reedus is like frostbitten all over him and he's in Damn the it. snow backwards. And so is Clunk. Should just... we just throw them both off the edge? Yeah. I can't see Did we? Uh, Mina, Did I'm going to take... let Did you we... know this would be a great time to steal that book from Reedus if you were looking to. <laughs> <laughs> Did Did we take that damage or did he rebuke it before? We no, no, you took it. No, you took it. Okay. I can't spare um, the dying. Yay! I mean, I, I can Clunk. I can lay on Clunk. hands and and bring him back up. <laughs> no, Thank us. you. Clunk's like just still. He's not fallen over, but you get the sense that he's inactive. Uh, Almost Clunk, as though he were a dragon pet. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, I'll I'll use a point of my lay on hands to bring uh, Redis back to consciousness. Thank you. Much you got, appreciated. You got one hit point. He didn't oh, get close to killing everybody me. else over there looking. I've got one. Um, I'm, at, I'm at four hit points. Okay, so. I'm going to use my other channel divinity to do that preserve life again. Are you sure you want to hold on to that? I can I'll... get it back on a short rest. Okay. So As, you guys want to rest. take another long rest at 8.01 in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I'm need not, a long, I just need a short. For today. Plus, I I'll... only use cantrips during this fight. I'll piggyback I'll... on Yeah, I didn't. Uh... I, I, I only use stuff that I can get back at a short rest. So. Yeah. So, um, fi I got 50 hit points. I can bring as many of you up to half as possible. Um, I oh, would really oh, hurt. I took I'm, I would I'm say... still at... 52 hit points, so I'm, I'm okay for now. I would need 40 to bring me up to half. I'll probably do so. you last then. Yeah. I would need 52 points of healing to get me up to full, but I can help out with that. No, I can only take you to half. So. Oh, right. Points for me then. Yeah. To okay, so you half. have 25, um, and then I've got 25 left to go between whoever else. And, well, and while, while um, everyone's getting healed, I'm going to look at Krunk and go, shh and replace the books. Uh, Clunk would uh, lie to me. I love it. <laughs> Who else needs it? Healing? I need healing. You, I've, you take it. I've lost five hit points. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> it's, it's my finger. How much, how much do you have scratch. left, Riala? I have 25 hit points left, so you okay. can have those if Caesar doesn't need them. How, oh. how, how are you at, Caesar? I'm at one. Oh well, shoot! Take some of this at no, least. No, you yeah. take it. I I am a cleric. <laughs> I'm All a cleric right. too. <laughs> I'm just gonna um whatever you don't take, I'll just throw a prayer of healing on top. Um, and everyone else, everyone's gonna get another thirteen on top of that. Oh, Carolus cool. offers good. some inspiring words. What have we learned in all these years about standing together? Uh, don't don't. At their apparently. safety in numbers, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we also so got to fireballs. I take it you guys are going to short rest. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I don't, I'm short I don't, would anyone like to roll hit dice during this? I short will rest? be rolling hit dice. I yes. will be. That's a All right, let's do so let's do hit good. dice, and then we'll say that uh, that we're gonna we're gonna wrap this week with you guys short resting and thinking about your life. <laughs> um, thinking about thunder waves on mountainsides. Mm-hmm. I Which would... honestly, the avalanche just kind of made it more interesting and really didn't hurt us that badly. It was really that cone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say the the biggest deal with the avalanche is it knocked the uh, the haste off. Yeah. Mm. So. But luckily, with the critical guiding bolt, which took care of that thing. Um, okay, I'm clicking a short rest. Obviously, I've still got my concentration going on the hex, just so we remember that for next session. Okay. Write I'm that also, down. I'm, I'm rolling my three roll. paladin hit dice, and I rolled pretty great. I'm rolling honestly. hit dice as well, because um, I'm, you know, got hurt five hit points. Oh, well, maximum. There we go. I'm, I, I, I uh, look at that. You just wasted. You just six of them. You, you just throws no, off the. Caesar did a prayer of healing, so you got thirteen hit points from that. So you don't need to use your hit dice. Um. Oh, me? Yeah. Say. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Caesar did a pray, prayer of healing for thirteen. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, you don't have to spend that hit die. We've only got eleven of them. I am really no, ten of them. There we go. That's got me. Um, I'll do one more monk die. And casting mending on Clunk gives him two d six. So if I've got time, I can get him up to full. I can help. I have mending as well. 
yeah, so he can get the bullet. We just got enough time to get him there. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. If it, you, we're, you're going to rest here for an hour, at, at least an hour. You can do two hours if you want. Um, helping him up and stuff. You, you can cast mending uh, every every six seconds, can't you? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would hope that someone would be working on building a fire because it is damn cold out here, but... Yeah. I can do that. Uh, cool. Well, then we'll say that you guys build a fire, you did some hit dice, you did some mending, you thought about your life, and... My uh, being replaced. Little does we, we will be... Uh, <laughs> yes, you did. We Can't will be... Picking up right here next week. 